like the moon Tone bite, norm tone bite, norm tone bite. We back, Ratchet Gang. We back with another one. We back with another banger. Get the likes up. Look, you might have forgot. Hell, they might have forgot. But you already know it's the king. Too loyal, norm tone bite, Ratchet TV. Hey, I y'all already know, man. Y'all already know. Get the likes up if you in the building. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Tap that notification bell so you can get the drop whenever I drop. All right, so boom. Man, 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 man. We got to talk, Ratchet Gang. We got to chop it up. Look, tonight we have to talk about CERN. We have to talk about the total solar eclipse that took place today, allegedly. Allegedly, and everything I say is alleged, and it's all under the Fair Use Act. And you can see the Fair Use disclaimer in the description of this video and in the description of all my videos. This is just for entertainment and educational purposes only. This is just to educate my people on what we've been covering over here. Like I said, it's all under the Fair Use Act. And you can see the fair use disclaimer in the description of this video. And everything I say is alleged. Allegedly, allegedly, y'all. Allegedly. So we definitely, we got to chop it up about this. Because I went out there today. I went and I saw some people saying some weird stuff. I, I get that. We probably have a lot of new people over here. We probably do. But needless to say, I live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Everybody knows that. It, there's, there's not a secret. There's no fabrication in that. I live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I live in the Metroplex. So when I say this, I, I mean no disrespect to nobody, but I'm just a person that is, I think, with every part of my brain. I don't just <clears throat> listen to what someone tells me. It has to make sense to me. So if we are both in the same Metroplex, if I'm in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and I'm on a live stream. I'm live right now. You know for a fact I'm in the Dallas-Fort Fort Worth area, and you're looking at my live stream. How can you possibly say, oh, man, you just didn't, you, you, you're not looking right, or 
now nah, you got it all wrong, man. You no, I don't have it all wrong. You're looking at the sun on my live stream. I'm showing you. You're you're looking through your glasses, and I'm showing you through the human eye. There's nothing there. I don't need glasses to tell me if something is there or not. Do you understand this? They don't need to hand me nothing. And then, you, oh, hold on. I'm not. Uh, let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all. I'm going to show y'all how cold I am, man. Let me show y'all how how cold I am. Now, listen to this. All y'all been bragging about these glasses all day, right? Salute God's son on that 20-piece McNugget. I appreciate you, God's son. That's how you start off the show, man. You got to start off with a 20-piece McNugget. Well, God's son. Let me chop it up with them. They must not know who I am, Godson. So let me introduce them to Big Ratchet. So listen to this. Hold on. No, this is the one I want. Solar eclipse glasses recall sparks immediate warning. There y'all go right there. I don't even got to really go too much further than this right here. This tells you everything you need to know. You've been bamboozled like I've been saying this whole time. So check this out. Let's look at this. <clears throat> A recall was issued over the weekend by more than a dozen retailers for special glasses meant for using uh, meant for use during Monday's eclipse. They that were sold at their stores. The glasses, which were available at businesses in Missouri and Illinois, reportedly do not meet safety standards for safe viewing. On Monday afternoon, the moon will be positioned so that the sun's entire disk will be blocked in 13 states, starting in Mexico and moving across Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, New York, Pennsylvania, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine before heading over the North Atlantic Ocean. KMOV, a CBS-affiliated television station in St. Louis, on Sunday reported that several businesses in the area announced they had mistakenly sold glasses without the proper ISO number. ISO is an acronym for the International Organization for Standard Standardization, uh, an independent in international standard development organization. ISO standards are used for broad range of products KMOV provided a list of stores that sold glasses that don't meet ISO standards. And if you got your glasses from any of these spots, your, your eyes might be a little messed up. I'm going to just be real with y'all. So they've been finessing all y'all, telling y'all y'all needed some special glasses. whoop de whoop de whoop Meanwhile, this, now you're going to see the, re, the, uh, the repercussions of getting those glasses and viewing that shit. So all I got to do to say to y'all is... Good luck on that shit. News of the recall follows a warning from the American Astronomical Society, AAS, which recently reported it had discovered that some eclipse glasses and other solar viewers are labeled as ISO compliant when in fact they have not been properly tested and shown to be safe. The AAS said solar eclipse glasses that meet safety compliance should be labeled with the ISO whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop. Uh, this number indicates the glasses have met international standards for reducing visible sunlight to safe levels to block UV IR radiation. One business noted by KMOV was Fink's L ALPS, which wrote uh, on its Facebook page that it had recently carried glasses with whoop de whoop instead of the appropriate ISO. <clears throat> so as y'all see, them glasses wasn't safe, y'all. They've been lying, telling y'all these glasses were safe this whole time. Whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop. Meanwhile, you finna see a big recall on a lot of those glasses. Just mark my word. You finna see a big recall from all of these companies telling you, oh, my fault, man. I, I didn't know. Now your eyes finna be all messed up. And and y'all, man, I tried to tell y'all, man. They, they playing with y'all. They just keep on playing. They playing games with everybody. Let's continue, man. So these are just different images. From around, you know, what I'm saying a lot of people were sending me some stuff showing me, and this is images from, you know, what I'm saying everybody today. So when you look at that, you start to see, and I'm telling y'all, the moon was not blocking the sun today. I'm telling you, I was right there. I don't care what you saw, there was never a moon in front of the sun. I'm I'm sorry, y'all. I don't care what y'all say to, about this right now. I don't believe it. 
I was right there. You can go back on my live stream. I did 30, well, I think we had 37,000 views I did earlier on that video. The video is going viral. I'm exposing the fact that it was not there. I'm sitting right there live. I never moved or touched the camera. You can see the camera start glitching in my live. Everybody's seen it. The, the camera starts glitching. Like everything just starts glitching. Like as if the, the sun was pulsating almost like a heart. Everybody's seen it on my live stream. Drop, drop the gems if you saw this earlier on my live stream. I had the phone sitting still. My truck was off. There was no wind moving. You didn't hear no wind going on. It was calm, cool, and collected out there. It, it, was, it was very calm. So there was nothing shaking my phone. There was nothing touching my phone. I didn't have my phone in my hands. I was sitting in the car with, I had two phones. One of my phones was sitting on the, on the tip of my car, or excuse me, my truck. And I'm sitting in the truck with the, with the truck off, with the windows down. And you don't hear no wind on my end. You don't hear no wind. There's nothing going on. But the camera starts pulsating. The camera just starts pulsating. And you just start seeing the, the sun flicker and flicker and flicker and flicker. It gets really dim. And that's it. There's nothing ever came in front of the sun. Everybody was watching it on my live stream. Nothing came in front of the sun. No, Ratchet, you needed the glass. I don't give a damn what you saw in those glasses. I don't care what you saw in them. I'm just being serious. I don't need the glasses to tell me. I know for a fact I didn't see it. No, Ratchet, you got it all wrong. You needed the glasses. You couldn't see it. I don't care what you saw with some weird ass glasses. That, did, that didn't even get tested right, and it's going to fuck up your eyes anyway. I don't need no glasses to look up and see that nothing is there except for a beaming sun, and it gets really dim. They're controlling the weather, man, allegedly. They're controlling this weather, allegedly. Now, look at this. Now, look at all the... So, if we're all looking at the same sun, how are all of these images... This is around the world. I don't give a damn what y'all talking about. We all looking at the same sun, allegedly. If there's only one sun in the sky, you should be able to see something in front of it. If you if the moon blocking it in Texas, well, damn it, you should see the moon. Uh, even if it ain't blocking it on your end, you should still see the moon in the sky. What are we talking about? We're all looking at the same sky, right? Make this part make sense to me. If we're looking at the same sky, everybody in the world is looking up at the same sky. The same sun is shining on your end and the same sun is shining on my end. I don't give a damn what side it's on. If a big ass moon comes in front of it, you should be able to see it from the other side of the world. Then if I can see it in front of me, you should see it in front of you. It just makes perfect sense to me. I don't care what nobody else says. This is all my opinion. It's all my opinion. We're all looking at the same sun, right? Look at all these images. We're all looking at the same sun, right? No, it's not the same sun, allegedly. Allegedly. But I'm a conspiracy theorist, right? I'm a conspiracy theorist, right? Look at this. Come on, man. <clears throat> Come on, man. <sighs> Fuck me, we back behind the cloud. There it go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this shit, yo. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. So y'all see that this is what one of my subscribers sent me. One of my subscribers sent me this. She was watching the damn shit her damn self. And as you see, look at we all looking at the same sun, right? This is all the same sun, right? Look at this, y'all. You can't make this up. You cannot make this up, man. Look at this. You can't make this up, man. This is what everybody's watching today. We all looking at the same sun, though, right? Does this look like everybody's looking at the same thing? I don't know what the hell is going on right now. They fucking with us. Something is something is about to happen. Look at this. Something is about to happen, y'all. Look at this shit. Everybody had a different view. Look at this. Look at this. If this is just an eclipse, what are we getting so concerned? Like, what is all this prep for? If Look at this, this shit, y'all. 
and the flips. Why are we doing it? So look at this. What, what is everybody? I, I don't get it. What the hell is going on, y'all? What is going on, y'all? This is what everybody's viewing today. There are similar things going on. And look at this shit. Different gods of religions. I don't know, bro. This is they're trying to find the answers to all this shit. Like I said, this is some scary stuff to even try to figure out. I'm too scared. To, I don't want to go looking for these answers. I, I'm scared as hell of what's on the other I don't know what the hell is out there. I'll be real. I don't want to know what's out there at all. I mean, y'all can go tell me. This shit is spooky, y'all. Look at this shit, man. We all looking at the same thing, though, right? We all saw the same thing, but everybody saw some different shit. I'm trying to tell y'all, they are using... And someone came on my live earlier and said it was Project Bluebeam. Project Bluebeam. Allegedly. And a lot of people said they had headaches. There's a lot of people with headaches earlier. Look at this shit, y'all. We all looking at the same thing, though, right? Don't make no damn sense, man. Nobody's seen the same thing today. Everybody's I seen something different. Remember that, yeah, Ohio, they, they had a state of emergency. Come on, man. They were telling everybody to make, make travel plans. Everybody should make travel plans. And come on, man. We all looking at the same thing, though, right? Look at this. Nobody's looking at the same thing, bro. Look at this shit. Look at this. What's going on? What y'all got going on, fam? What y'all got going on here? Man, 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 man. Yeah, they got some weird stuff going on, dog. I'm going to be real. Everybody's see, seen a bunch of different stuff. But I, like I keep saying, if we all looking at the same sky, got to make this man. Makes sense, man. Bruh. Look, there's something flying through the air. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Yo, what the fuck? Aliens! Aliens! Yo! Bruh. Look, there's something flying through the air. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Yo, what the fuck? Aliens! Bruh. Look, there's something flying through the air. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Yo, what the fuck? Aliens! Aliens! Yo! Like I said, a bunch of people were seeing a bunch of crazy stuff today, man. It's been a bunch of weird shit going on. Like, everybody's getting different views and different images. We all looking at the same sun. How did everybody see all this? What? How did everybody see all these different images of the eclipse? And we all were seeing the same thing, bro. This don't make no sense. I'm, tr I'm trying to ask y'all to make this part make sense. Make it make sense. It says Jonah was giving a 40-day warning to Nineveh during the eclipse. If you look at our April 8th eclipse and fast forward 40 days, then you will get May 18th, 2024, the day before the Pentecost. Uh, and it says the history of the Pentecost is that the last spring feast that the Lord has given us, there are four in the spring and three in the fall. This is the day that the Lord sent the Holy Spirit down to all those who have accepted Christ. We are told that the restrainer may believe this is the Holy Spirit will be removed before the tribulations. It says, uh, could it be that, th that this is a warning for that? I'm not sure as that, it's a worldwide event and this eclipse will be just over North America, but it is something definitely to think and pray about for more clarity and wisdom. No. And that's a good, I mean, come on, man. You got it. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. They are playing with us. Ratchet, what is that? This is the white dot that I keep seeing. What is that flying through the damn screen? That shit look like a little ass car or truck or something, but I don't know. What is that moving swiftly? How is it moving fast like that? What moon move? What? I don't know. Or the clouds moving and the, and the moon sitting there. I don't know. And that was what I was seeing earlier. This is my view. What is that? Ratchet, what is that? This is the white dot that I keep seeing. What is that flying through the damn screen? That shit look like a little ass car or truck or something, but I don't know. 
what is that moving swiftly how is it moving fast like that what moon move what? i don't know and it, was, it was moving and the, and the moon sitting there i don't know it was some weird stuff going on man and that was the view i seen earlier and like i said everybody is seeing different stuff if you look around here everybody is just seeing different stuff man everybody got different visions of this and it's like how, how is this possible and i keep trying to say explain it to me because we all looking at the same thing especially if we in the same city if we in the same city and i'm seeing what i'm seeing you should not be seeing what look at this what the hell is this what is this like come on fam what the hell is this? you got to make this part make sense to me and it don't make sense everybody saw something different everybody saw something different that's just a newscast thing look at this and it says i had a professor once asked the class to draw the best representation of god there were some students to draw who drew christ others an old man in a chair and then there were some that drew the hindu gods in the end all he did was draw a circle on the board with a dot in the center this is god the circum uh the circumpunk is perhaps the most perfect symbol to represent god the circle uh, his finger traced the circle on the board represents the all uh encompassing power and infinite limitless of god while the dot he pointed to the center of the circle represents our place within god we are part of god this the circumpunct represents the perfect union and uh the perfect union of the divine and the created the dot can represent anything within the omni or whatever that i don't even know say that uh the di divinity of god he walked around the room in a circle then stood in the then can also represent the self the circle can mean the body or the conscious self while the dot can represent our subconscious or super conscious so that's the circle allegedly allegedly and then there you have it allegedly i don't know y'all tell me i don't know is that right wrong i don't know man y'all tell me man i don't know if you look closely you can see nasa preparing for the solar eclipse and they've been preparing us they've been preparing us for a long time this was all a planned event that's basically what i'm trying to tell y'all this was supposed to happen this was a planned event and we finna get into some videos here in just one second. And we gonna cover this tonight. Like I said, man, this is something that should be covered. It should be talked about. So give me one second while I load up my videos. And let's see. Let me see. All right. So let me see. Where can we start it? Let's start right here. All right. Let me share my screen real quick, y'all. Let's get to this. And drop the uh, gems if y'all can hear the video when it starts. Let's go. The solar eclipse might be the beginning of the end. At the exact same time as the eclipse, CERN will be activating a $4 billion machine to try and recreate the conditions of the Big Bang that created our universe. This machine has never been fully activated before, and many scientists believe that it could open a black hole that could either destroy our world or allow other entities to come through it. And like I said yesterday, they don't want to talk about this. They keep acting like they were not out there trying to do what they were doing. They acting like they were not out there performing some ritual today. But allegedly they were. Enter our world. The scariest part about this is that outside the facility where this machine is located, there is a statue of Shiva. Hold on, let me back that up. Because look, didn't I tell y'all they had a statue of Shiva right there at the headquarters? At uh, CERN, there's a statue of Shiva at the headquarters at CERN, y'all. I showed y'all this yesterday, but I gotta, I gotta talk about this for the people who, who, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you're not woke and you're not paying attention, I got to tell you what the hell is going on here. Get the likes up, y'all. Statue of Shiva, a god also known as the destroyer of worlds. There was also a video that came out showing a strange ritual happening at CERN. And if you take a close look at CERN's logo, you'll see that there are three sixes, the devil's number. The Let's listen to that again. Listen to that again. L listen closely and look at that logo. If you look at that logo, it have three sixes in it. 
And if you take a close look at CERN's logo, you'll see that there are three sixes, the devil's number. The most unsettling part about all of this is that many recent events leading up to this have been prophesized in the Bible, such as the earthquakes that have been hitting all over. Remember this, y'all. Just pay attention. Earthquakes all over, strange places. The eclipse will pass directly over a town called Nineveh, which is a place in the Bible where God's wrath was warned of. All of this is pure speculation and not proven to be true, but many people are starting to think. What do y'all think? Is there some truth to that? Y'all tell me, is there some truth to that? Let me know in the chat if y'all believe that there is some truth to that. Drop the gems if you believe so. Drop the caps if y'all like, nah, man, you are tripping, man. Y'all are over here tripping, bruh. Some people do feel like uh, we over here tripping. And I'm like, nah, 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 nah. I'm not tripping out. I know what I looked at today, and I didn't see no moon. I'm telling you straight up. I seen it with my eyes. There was no moon. There was no moon that could. If you had to, okay, when did the moon become invisible? Somebody tell me that. When did the moon just become invisible? The moon is not invisible. When did the moon just become invisible to the point where you just can't see, when you can't see nothing? And if the moon is invisible, how did it block the sun? Explain that. If the moon is invisible, how did it block the sun? The sun should shine right through it, right? So how did the moon just in front of your eyes with glasses on? I don't need glass. You just said the moon was going to be in front of the sun, not some object that you put in front of it. You you placed something there to see if everybody could see it. That's what y'all did. Y'all placed something there to see if, if people put these glasses on, could they see an illusion? And they did. So now you know it works. Y'all playing with people, man. Allegedly, allegedly. It's my opinion. It's my opinion. Y'all, to me, I believe y'all are playing with people. This is my opinion, solely my opinion. I Hey, this is just allegedly. I'm just saying this is my opinion. I believe y'all did some shit with y'all machinery or some the blue beam shit. Y'all got the blue beam and put it all together. And then y'all seen if they put these on, could they see an illusion there that everybody else can't see with the naked eye? And we can't see it with the naked eye. So it shows me it's something y'all did. It's something y'all are doing. It, it makes perfect sense because any other time I can see the moon. I don't need glasses to see the moon. That's why I keep telling people, I don't care what you saw with the glasses. That's fine. I believe that you do see something there, but that's not what you think it is. That's not the moon you're looking at. That's why they had to fake the, uh, to me, they faked it. It was a planned event. Let's continue. Now, look at this shit. Like I said, it's a bunch of weird stuff going on today, man. They, they are playing with people, bro. Look at this stuff. They are playing with people. They playing right in everybody's face. They are just sitting there playing in people's faces at this point. They don't care. They just doing it in plain sight. Hey, if you hide it in plain sight, it, it is what it is, man. You just hide it in plain sight. Just hide it in plain sight. It is what it is, man. I'm like, bro, they they are bold now. They just don't care. They have just gotten to the point where they just like, bro, it is what it is, man. What y'all gonna do about it? <laughs> what are you, what are y'all gonna do? What y'all gonna do? Y'all gonna do something? Nah. All right, we'll be quiet. Put the glasses on. And, and, and shut up let's go next video then i realized then i fucking realized then i realized then i realized <laughs> then i realized then i fucking realized god reincarnated me slash gave me a second chance to spread a warning if you haven't watched my other videos watch my other videos and this is why this is important the demon is already here on earth satan is already here get the likes up y'all i need everybody to smack and make sure you tell somebody to get over here and watch this video this is another important video we've been dropping some important videos over here to mean a lot if you're paying attention get the likes up let's go he doesn't care there's nothing y'all can do that he doesn't already know. He already knows I'm going to deliver this message. Everything is in the script. Okay? I was put back. I was reincarnated. And I was given... Watch my other videos. But this is demon technology. The demon is already here on Earth. I'm telling y'all the technology y'all are looking at is... What you are looking at...
you should you should and i'm not gonna say be afraid i'm gonna say be aware i wouldn't even say be scared because there's nothing to fear except for god there's nothing else to fear i mean it is what it is at this point you know what i'm saying it's gonna be what it's gonna be <sighs> excuse me it's gonna be what it's gonna be so it's out of our hands it's out of our control salute queen for being a member for uh 29 months drop them flowers i appreciate you salute so <sighs> Just be aware of what's going on now. These are the the times, that, the end of times are near, nearer than they've ever been. And I know, I mean, that's needless to say, because, I mean, of course, they're approaching the, the more as time goes on. But I'm just saying, these are warnings that you should pay attention to. The demon is already here on Earth. The demon is already here. The demon is already here. And there's going to be things that happen today. The demon is going to be unleashed on earth today. If you're existing in this reality, the demon's going to be unleashed on earth. And they don't care anymore. They don't care. They already know everything. Everything's scripted already in this realm. Everything's already everything's already plotted. Now, some people are not going to believe this message, and that's fine. You need to go watch my other videos, but this is literally demon technology. Do y'all believe this is demon technology? And the the crazy part is the people that are, are behind it, I, I told you who they were. They are the creators of the World Wide Web. They're, they are the creators of, of a lot. And I'm not going to say of everything, but I'm just going to say technology as we know it. They're the creators of it. So they they want to become the creators of everything because the creator of everything is smarter than them. And they want to be smarter than the creator because they've created all the technology to go. And they think they can go one one up with them. Like, I don't know. This is some it, it, the thought of it is scary. And uh, God's come. You can't open a portal with theoretically without God technically coming so if you're not in in a higher dimension you're going to be stuck on hell on earth we're going to have some new more light beings that will join to fight against satan and his army we're going to have some ghost beings too humans with fourth dimensional powers read up on the ghost particle and stuff do y'all believe that there's going to be things that we can't see ghost particles and i believe that we are approaching and everybody said oh the spiritual warfare been here yeah, yeah it has it has been here forever we've always been dealing with a spiritual warfare but now more than ever it's not only just going to be a spiritual warfare it's going to it the spirit how can i say this so y'all can understand the spiritual warfare has now entered the it's now physical versus spiritual it's not just a spiritual warfare now it's in the physical i think the spiritual has been the spirits have been unleashed let me just say like i believe that it's about to be when i say the war begins soon there's going to be some crazy shit going on and there will be something that just pay attention we'll be also participating in the spiritual war and we'll have satan and his enemies also participating in the spiritual war God is everything. God is everything. God is everything. I, I was reincarnated to deliver this message. April 8th, it, if they don't care anymore. They don't care anymore. You better pick a side. Yeah, you better pick a side. You better pick a side quick and stay there. And I'm telling y'all, I, I've been warning everybody. I mean, it's not it's not up to me. You don't got to listen to me. I, who the hell am I, right? You don't got to listen to nothing I'm talking about up here. You could just carry on and, and not pay attention to nothing. All I'm saying is this is th the time is coming, man, to, to pick a side. And you're going to have to pick a side and stay there, y'all. Let's get to it. Things I seen while trying to watch the total solar eclipse. Now, look at this shit, y'all. Just weird activity. I showed y'all the sharks yesterday. Now you see, I told y'all the birds was acting weird. The sharks was acting weird. People, dogs and cats was acting weird. 
I'm telling y'all, man, the time is the animals know everything. The animals know. They know exactly what's going on. The animals know exactly what's going on, man. They not they not dumb. They can feel the energy shift too. It ain't just us that can feel the energy shift. All of the animals, which are God's creatures, as well, they they definitely know what's up. They feel it. Man, 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 man. What do y'all think about this? Do y'all think there's some truth to this? I don't know, y'all. Y'all tell me. Y'all tell me. Is there some, is there some truth to that? Y'all tell me, man. Let's continue. Let us continue. We got more to talk about. It's not just the dogs. It's the birds. It's the sharks. It's the it's all the wildlife. They all acting a little bit weird. Now, look at this in Cleveland. I'm going to show y'all what was going on in Ohio. Remember, I kept saying something in Ohio. Be careful, Ohio, because they doing something out there. Look at this shit from Ohio. Meanwhile, in Ohio today, it looks like they're playing a game of tic-tac-toe. Huh. Oh, we know. Oh, we definitely know. These guys were blue as it was, as it possibly could be. Just, I don't know, an hour ago? Now you're hitting us big time. Oh, the world, the public is waking up. Man, man, man. So they was out there playing tic-tac-toe in the sky. They said chemtrails. They was out there playing the sky over there in Ohio. They had clear skies. Then all of a sudden, they brought the clouds in. Have, did everybody else notice Every single state that had the the eclipse, it it was all it was cloudy everywhere. Every single spot had clouds all around it. Like how did everybody get the the same like? But we all can't see this. Everybody got the same clouds, but we can't see the same moon in front of the sun. Come on now, I'm they are playing games. I'm not I'm not falling for it. Ain't no way y'all gonna make me fall for this. I didn't fall for it. And I'm not going to fall for it. There's no way you're going to pull this wool, uh, the sheep over my eyes, man. You're not pulling this over my eyes, man. I'm I'm sorry. You're not. Let's continue, man. I'm not done. Let's continue. I got more. I got more. We're going to be here for a while tonight, man, exposing all this, man. I need everybody in the building to smash that like button. And if you just now coming into the live, uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and make sure you come on over here and be a subscriber because we have the most fun over here. And plus, we got the dopest content on YouTube because we talk about everything everybody else is afraid to talk about. Um, uh, I'm pumped. I'm pumped for the eclipse. I'm, I'm very excited. Very pumped for the eclipse. I'm not excited for the Earth to end because apparently that's that's going to happen. Allegedly, allegedly. But let's let's talk about this. Let's have this conversation, gang. Oh no! Like they're going to take first. They're going to take out the cell phone service. So first, allegedly, sooner or later, they, the the service is just going to go boom. Allegedly. Y'all believe that? Every time I ask y'all a question, drop the gems or drop the caps. You will not be timed out or you will not be blocked for speaking your opinion in the chat. Just don't be disrespectful. But if I ask you gems or caps, that's it. Let's go. Then they're going to overload the electrical grid. Then the National Guard is moving in. Then they're going to overload the electrical grid and then the National Guard is moving in. Gems or caps, y'all? Gems or caps? Let me know. Fuck. What do you know oh, about CERN? The CERN, the particle collider. The particle collider, CERN, the, the big boys, the big boys. We're going to call them the big boys. That's the fourth oh, dimension. Oh, is that the fourth, dimension? the fourth dimension? So explain it to us, Hank. Uh, well, I've done some extensive research uh, this morning while I was hung over laying in bed. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a lot of people this morning. Just kidding. All right, let's continue. <laughs> okay, go on. CERN is like an Illuminati type company. Do y'all believe that? Is CERN Illuminati? Are they an Illuminati type company? Let me know if CERN is some evil people. Is that it a company? Or is... I think it's a company. I think the CERN. Is... Let them cook. Let them okay, cook. Right. Let them cook. Let them cook. And what it's a, it's a He's part... done extensive research. It's yeah. a particle expander collider. Okay. And they're going to, apparently, NASA's launching rockets at the same time as the eclipse. Huh. Huh. Interesting. And they're turning. And, and something else before he finishes. Did anybody else notice NASA never said what the hell they was shooting the damn, what was the rockets going to? They never, they never said nothing. They just like, oh, we just putting rockets out there. We just launching three. Okay, what, what is going on? What are you shooting rockets up there for? For what? Don't make no damn sense. CERN on the day of the eclipse, and I believe the research is uh, 
they're trying to reach a fourth dimension. Where where's CERN located? There's one in Tennessee on the in the in the route. Is this is that true? From the from the research. From I the did. research okay. he's done. All right. Allegedly. Allegedly. So what, what would you I say to the haters articles. out there that, that have said that the uh, CERN particle collider actually got turned on in March and it's located in Europe? I think there's multiple CERNs. Is there more than one CERN? Let me know in the chat. Is there more than one CERN? Let me know in the chat. There's multiple CERNs. Okay. CERN, so second CERN. I think there might be one been in discovered. Chicago. There's a CERN in Chicago? Are they going to turn? They have many CERNs. I do know that. They do got some mini CERNs. Turn that one on? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just glad that we're in Arizona. We're not going to be we're not going to be there for the eclipse. Our sun's going to be perfect. But yeah, isn't, my, this where, isn't this where the aliens will show up? I, I think it's one of those things where where once the, the Did y'all think that something was unleashed today? Does anybody else think something was unleashed? Moon covers the sun. Mm -hmm. When it comes back, like we'll be in the fourth dimension. Fourth dimension. Like everything will be different. That's Earth 2.0. So they're saying after we saw or allegedly saw what we saw today, now we're going to start seeing things different in a fourth, fourth dimension type of deal. What do y'all think about that? Now, from, from this point forward, everything is different. Nothing that you remember, or not remember, nothing will be the same as it was. Do y'all believe that? Well, Outside that. of the eclipse, yeah. And this, you came to the conclusion when you were hungover and probably felt like shit, and you were like, please, someone take me away? Yeah, I was like, okay. it doesn't matter how I feel. <laughs> yeah, right. Because it's over on Tuesday anyway. Right. It, it's interesting, because they tell you, like, don't look at the eclipse. What are they trying to hide? Exactly. What is? What are they hiding? What do y'all believe they're hiding? What don't they want you to read? Why is National, not NASA launching rockets same day? I've never understood. Why are they launching the rocket? Why are they launching the rocket, y'all? Said why you can't look at an eclipse because well, remember when Trump it, raw dogged it? Yeah, it was did. awesome. <laughs> he, awesome. Gave, he gave the thumbs up. He raw dogged the shit out of that. Eclipse. Tougher than the sun. The f sun. Man, 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 man. I'm just saying, y'all. A lot of stuff is just starting. It's just not making sense. It, it's not making sense. But I'm gonna help us make sense of it. What do y'all think, man? I don't know. We're going to continue, though. We're going to continue on this coverage of what we thought we saw today, allegedly. Let's continue. Sudden illumination, sudden illumination of the sun as I point out the airplane. See that, but there's an airplane flying right next to the light of the sun. Right next to it. You see that streak of light? or whatever you want to call it. And then in the comments, they were saying there was two airplanes or something side by side going up there. Now, why would something be going this damn close to the sun? Look at that. Why would, why would something be going that close to the sun? Allegedly. I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's an airplane flying right next to the light of the sun. Why would something go that damn close? It would burn up or right next to I it. I don't you think nothing. I ain't never seen nothing going the path of the sun like or that. Whatever you want to call it. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. They said it is a cover up for real. Maybe I'm just tripping, y'all. Maybe it's just me. We got 3,500 people in here. So I, I don't think it's just me. We got 3,500 people in here. So it cannot be just me. And if y'all are not, uh, if y'all are not subscribed to the channel, Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. That's all I can say, because we, we are definitely going to continue to have these conversations over here. So, like I said, these scientists found the demon particle in 2023. CERN will initiate their Large Hadron Collider on April 8th, but everything will end in something known as an awake facility on April 22nd. Here's where everything ties together and why they're trying to usher in this king demon. They're trying to usher in a king demon right now, y'all, allegedly. Allegedly, they're trying to usher in a king demon, and that's allegedly what everybody was not paying attention to today, the uh, the overplay for the underplay. Everybody looking up in the sky, oh, my gosh, y'all see that with the glasses? Oh, my gosh, put your glasses. Meanwhile, they unleashing some shit. They then energy harvested everybody in the world, damn near. Everybody in the damn world, they then energy harvested and now the king demon allegedly might be among us. This antichrist, this demonic messiah. Now, like I said, everything ends with CERN on April 22nd at a awake facility. Well, what is happening on April 22nd? Well, April 22nd is the beginning 
of Passover, and it will last until April 30th of 2024. Many believe that this will be the date that the red heifer will be sacrificed in Israel. Man, man, man. Allegedly. Allegedly. Like I said, it's going to be a deeper conversation than you've ever heard over here. I told y'all moving forward, we ain't playing over here. That we we got to be serious, man. It's 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 the time that look something just told me, and I I, I can't say something. God told me, man. This is what you this is what you got to cover, man. Like this is this is it. You have to cover this. And I'm telling you, I have I have been just nonstop researching on just this because I woke up one morning and it was just I had to. There was nothing else I I had to talk about this. Now it will be sacrificed soon because the altar has already been built, and that they're waiting for Passover in order to sacrifice this red heifer. And again, the reason why this ceremony will take place is so that the Jewish people can usher in their Messiah. This is not a second coming of Jesus Christ because Jewish people do not believe Jesus Christ is the Messiah. So this will usher in this new Messiah for Jewish people. The last temple that was built and destroyed was 2,000 years ago by the Romans. So you mean to tell me it took them over 2,000 years to rebuild this third temple? Allegedly, y'all. Allegedly, allegedly. Salute Mary on that uh ten piece. I appreciate you. Salute, salute. That there are no other red heifers or red cows that were born between the last time the temple was destroyed and today. So it tells me that they found something. That there's something about this month of April, and that they found something that they can now go ahead with this ritual and usher in this Messiah. A month where all these bizarre and unique events are taking place. What do y'all think about that? They're about to usher in something crazy here real soon. Something, and, and I told y'all, I, I keep saying this over and over. What's going to happen is they're about to bring in the person that is supposed to be the peacemaker, and this person is about to come off as, uh, all, I guess, almost like the Messiah. Like He's going to be the one that just comes and solves all the problems and makes peace with a lot of people. I, I'm, I can't really say what I want to say. You know that I can't talk how I want to talk, but I have to speak in code so y'all understand. But we're here real soon. They're about to bring in someone who is going to seem like this is the person that everybody needs to to like he's the savior of, you know, what I'm saying or whatever, whatever humanity almost. I don't know. It's coming, though. Let's continue. Check that out. Birds are going crazy. These birds are tripping because they want to gangbang, or if it's from that solar eclipse and they can feel it, or if it's from my breath. <laughs> I don't think I brushed my teeth this morning. <laughs> <laughs> but look at these damn birds, man. In all seriousness, it says, Are the birds trying to tell us something about CERN, solar eclipse, a new dimension opening up? Allegedly. Could there possibly be a new dimension opening up? Or, no, nah, it ain't opening up. It's open by now. Hey, it's nighttime now. It, I think the dimension is open by now. I think that they went and did some stuff today. I think they harvested enough energy to move forward and be like, hey, we got it. We got it now, y'all, allegedly. So let's pay attention to some stuff. Salute Zarenia White for that uh, two-piece. It says, look up Swarm Technology. It was released today. Salute to you. I Send it to my Instagram. Send it to my Instagram. Hi guys, so today is April 8th, 2024. Today is the day of the total solar eclipse. And um, I wanted to come on here and set up this video for you guys. I want you to watch by um, Dr. William Hawkins Jr. He exposes the inner earth uh, portal. He talks about the physics and the metaphysics um, of the interdimensional parallel worlds. And this is just part one of the video I want to share with you guys. But the reason why I want to hurry up and um, post this video and share it with you guys, because um, for the past week, I have been going into a deep dive with my um, soul tribe and some of the information that I have retained over the years about um, the parallel universes um, and some of my experiences. He also talks about CERN and how there are multiple CERNs all over the world. I told y'all they have a lot of CERNs just because they're based in Switzerland and got that big uh, campus out there. That didn't mean nothing. They got a whole bunch of them, the little mini CERNs around the world. Salute nothing nice for your third super on the live stream. I appreciate you for that 20 piece. Salute, salute, salute. But I've been trying to tell y'all they got one in Chicago. They got one in Tennessee. They got one here. They got one there. They got one everywhere. There's little mini CERNs all over the world.
Um, and I just did a live on that and I was just explaining to them um, that there are multiple portals and that's why um, we have to be very careful on today. Um, also, he talks about what the earth really looks like. I also discussed that with my soul tribe on my lives about what the um, earth really looks like and how we are inside of a portal. I just had this discussion. We are inside of a portal. I just had this discussion last night about different types of portals. So I thought this was very interesting and he's a scientist. I also talked to my soul tribe about how, um, because we are in the in a portal where in the internet there are dimensions on top of dimensions on top of dimensions and on top of dimensions. And when you're traveling through these dimensions, you have to go through portals to get there because there are so many light years away um, that they don't even know we exist unless um, they are reaching out to us telepathically. Okay, and there you go right there. And that's what CERN said out of their mouth. They said they were basically, uh, they have been in contact with something that has a personality. I don't understand what that means. Like you, what, what do you mean? You was in touch with something that had a personality. What are y'all talking about? And they even said they were going to open up a portal and either they were going to go in or something was going to come out. We haven't heard no update on if something came out of that portal that they allegedly opened or if something went in. But they said, oh no, we didn't even talk about no portals. What are y'all talking about? We didn't say nothing about no portals. Like, yeah, you did. It came out of your people's mouth. And some of the downloads that we're receiving are coming from some of these dimensions, especially when there's esoteric information involved. And he confirmed everything that I had been telling my soul tribe. So I want you guys to listen with your higher self so you can understand some of these things that he will be talking about. And um, I thought this was very intriguing. And I'm excited because as I was on the live, I was getting the downloads as I was on the live. And him as a scientist, he came in, confirmed so many things that I had already discussed with my soul tribe. So check it out. So I want you guys to pay very close attention to some of the things that he's saying and um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. So. You know, after many years of internal dialogue, I've decided to release this information because I think that humanity deserves to know the truth. You deserve to know the whole damn truth. Now, listen to this. A scientist telling y'all what the truth is, allegedly. Y'all tell me, are we finding out the truth here? Or is, I mean, of course, they're never going to tell us the truth. But you have certain people that can expose the truth, being that they have been in these inner whatever, whatever, circles or whatever. And, and some scientists have been in rooms with these people. Like It's just like police. There's good, there's bad. And I believe there are scientists that do stuff for the great of humanity. And there could be some that do it for the whoop de whoop. You just got to stay woke, man, and, and stay prayed up. You don't know who's doing what or what they're doing. I know that they got uh, labs where they grow meat. That's some scary shit. I don't want to eat lab grown meat. And you don't know what they putting in the stores these days. But that's a conversation for another day. Let's continue. Now, I will say this, too. One of the things that prompted, inspired and convinced me to release this, this video is what's about to happen on April 8th. Now, I may release a second video going into depth about April 8th and what NASA is really attempting to do. And I've heard a couple brothers on TikTok go in the right direction with the ellipse uh, conversation and so on and so forth. And again, they're going in the right direction, but there's a lot that they're missing. And, I, and again, I think humanity deserves to know the whole truth, but I'm not sure if I should release that second video just yet. Because what you're about to see in this video is really weird, but it's true. And we're going to have to grasp the gravity of this situation because we're all being played in the worst way, right? And again, you need to know the truth. So for the purposes of TikTok and other social media, you need to know that I am a real scientist, okay? I design certified space technologies, industrial water purifiers, all right? And I've also licensed nine of NASA's inventions. Nine you see, this dude is licensed people at NASA. You see all this right here. He's showing you I'm really who I say I am. I would pay attention to this video, y'all. We almost got 4,000 people in here, y'all. This is an important video. I said it last night, and I'll say it again. This is the most important video I've ever done. Last night was the most important video I've ever done. But there's more information, so this becomes the more, most important one. Y'all need to get people in here to watch this video. Stay woke. One of their patents. And here you can see my signature next to Eugene Tu's signature, who is the director of the NASA Ames Research Center in California, right? So I'm not just a guy saying some wild-eyed theories, right? What you're about to see is fact. What I'm telling you now is fact. 
right? But you, humanity needs to have a serious discussion about heart, about CERN, and so on and so forth. But there are much larger technologies that they're keeping from you. Imagine, well, let's just say I'll cover that in the in the second video, okay, if I release that. But it's bigger than heart and CERN. Like there's more, I'll say this, there are more than one CERN, just like there's more than one heart, okay? There, there are ionosphere heaters all over the freaking planet. But the real ones are placed in places that you, you won't even really see with Google Earth unless you know what you're really looking at and what to look for, okay? So, I'm going to show you that inner Earth is real. And what you're about to see is not Photoshop at all. In fact, NASA attempted to destroy this and other photographs, you see? Because they didn't want you to know what the Earth really freaking looks like. But I'm about to show you. Open the third eye. Let's get into it. Get, uh, open your third eye, y'all. You have to have your third eye open to pay attention to this content. I know there's some people who are going to be trolling over here. And that's fine. We we allow the trolls to troll at a time like this because we know who you are. When you troll during content like this, it's clear as day who you are and what side you're on. And you stay on that side. We over here, we about to wake up. Let's go. This here is a real photograph of Earth. Now, I want you to notice what you notice. There's something about this photograph that jumps out at you, and it's not this little square here, which this is extremely important. This is why it's highlighted. But notice here at the top, what is that giant circle up there? Right? The, the North and South Poles are really entry points to the Earth. So the And that's fact. The North Pole and the South Pole are entry points at Earth. The edge of the Earth, are at the, you can go to the edge of the Earth. And I believe, I don't, I'm not here to get into a debate or do science class. It's, if you know, you know, but there is a such thing as the edge of the Earth. There is a there is only so far you can go. Has anybody ever heard of Antarctica? Has anybody in here ever heard of Antarctica? Do your research on Antarctica. That's all I can say. The North Pole and the South Pole are entry points into the Earth, but to what? We can't get there because we can only go so far without it being over. You can't go too far. It's over. Like, you can only, there's a such thing as the edge of the Earth, and people have been there, and I've seen what it looks like, and there's nothing else past that point. You don't know what's beyond that. It's like a big wall of, yeah, I'm not here to get into that, but I, just trust me when I say I've done intense research on this, man. I've I've studied this stuff and I just have never talked about it, but I've studied this stuff for quite some time. But I'm going to let a scientist tell y'all. Let's continue. Earth. Let's just say it like this. To, to begin to scratch the, the surface, you got to study many worlds theory. Okay. Now, and it gets deeper than that with super strange and so on and so forth. But the Earth is a multi dimensional entity, as you can imagine. And when you dream, believe it or not, the soul or one of your light bodies projects into these other portions, these other dimensions of the earth, right? Literally. So like I said, this is an entry point. This is why they no longer allow you to fly over the poles. This is why. Now you remember the You hear that? You hear that? They will not, they will no longer allow you to fly over the North and South Pole. Why? Because it's the edge of the earth. That's entry point into something. Into Earth, but out of what? Like, how do you get in and out? You bet not fly no plane over uh, the North and South Pole. Let's continue. Remember back in the day, they wrote the book about flying over the pole, and he was pulled in to the pole by a alien-like advanced craft. Do you remember that? That is true. But you can see here what this is about. So think about it this way here. All right. So you have it. You have the Earth like this in a circle, right? And and we are on the surface of the planet, the outer surface. Now there is a circle, or you could call it a sphere inside of this sphere, all right? And there's another population of billions of people that live there. They don't connect with us and we don't connect with them. Except Y'all hear that? Listen to this again. I want y'all to pay attention to this message in this video. About, so think about it this way here, all right? So you have it, you have the earth like this in a circle, right? And, and we are on the surface of the planet, the outer surface. Now there is a circle, or you could call it a sphere, inside of this sphere, all right? And there's another population of billions of people that live there. They don't connect with us and we don't connect with them except in dream forms, right? And some of us even pick up communications via telepathic communication. Also, within that second hemisphere is a third hemisphere with another population that are physical, just like us, I'm not talking metaphysically only, okay? There, there are physical inhabitants there. Now, I would, I would say watch Dr. Phil Valentine's um, uh, old video on the inner earth. 
that's still on YouTube. And by the way, if you connect with him, tell him Dr. Will Hawkins Jr. sent you, okay? Because he has some amazing satellite footage zooming into the pole where you can actually see the inner earth. You see the trees and water and all kinds of shit. It's true, right? But I want to give- Y'all listening to this, right? This is all fact from scientists. Give you a more comprehensive and robust image right here so that you can clearly see the entry point into the earth. And like I said, this is not Photoshop. And NASA tried to destroy this photograph, but there was a particular scientist who decided to to hide this photograph along with thousands of others. And I'll tell you this too, um, guys like Richard C. Hoagland are very important because Richard Hoagland, Dr. Hoagland, uh, he's the one that exposed the fact that when NASA initially tried to get scientists to destroy tens of thousands of real photographs like this. Allegedly, y'all, allegedly. Everything in this video is alleged. We just got to, hey, this is just for entertainment and educational purposes only. But let's continue. Those scientists only destroyed, let's say, three-fourths of those photos, and they hid others out in, in places like Ohio State University, right? And Ohio State had these, these uh, lecture series where you can actually go and view the photographs, right? But this shit is real, man. This ain't a plaything. See, but to understand the, the level of, of, of geophysics and, and, and metaphysics involved, astrophysics as well, you got to know a little something about sacred geometry or... You got to have a little understanding of your spirit anatomy, your subtle anatomy, chakras, so on and so forth. But again, the North Pole, you look at it, you can look at the bottom of the photograph here, and you can see that the South Pole looks exactly like it, like literally. So when you look at those older, like from the 1980s, those, those depictions from NASA, like Dr. Phil Valentine said, yes, it looks like a giant freaking donut. A giant donut. And what does the sun look like for real? They never really told us this until you could see it now. The sun also looks like a donut, doesn't it? The sun looks just as a big hole in the middle of it, a black spot or whatever. There's something in the middle of the sun. It's a black spot, a black hole like in the middle of the sun. It's the same thing as the earth, allegedly. Right, and you have layers, like literally planetary layers that, that people couldn't even imagine. You're only allowed to travel so far, believe it or not. But like I said, when it comes to um, the April 8th events, NASA is going to try some slick shit, y'all. They're trying something that could actually destroy the whole planet, right? And like I said, I don't know if I should should go there because who knows, maybe they'll change their mind about that part and, and decide not to do it. I don't know. But if, if you're listening, if you work with NASA and you know what the hell I'm talking about, don't you fucking idiots destroy the rest of us along with you. We're not, we're, we're not in, we're, we're not in it for that. You know, if, if you want to destroy a fucking planet, you get the fuck off of this when you go somewhere else or whatever the fuck you need to do, right? But don't destroy our home, dumbass. Allegedly, allegedly, y'all. Allegedly, that's a it's a crazy, crazy video, right? I hope y'all are waking up now. I hope that just woke the room up. I'm gonna be real. I hope that just woke the damn room up right there. But we gotta continue with this, y'all. We definitely have got to continue with this. Let's see what is the next video. Let's let's listen to this. I want y'all to pay attention to all of the. All of the content today, man, because there's a lot of knowledge we're going we gonna to gain today. Let's go. Look, I'm just going to say it because nobody else is. Unfortunately, this is not um, an eclipse in Aries. No, this is an eclipse in Pisces. And, all and I hope y'all can hear in my background there's thunder going on. This is all of us. It's been clear as fuck all day. And all of a sudden, it's, a, it's just getting it, there was no forecast of no rain today. Now, all of a sudden, it's thundering. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling y'all, it's real, but pay attention. Let's go. Reality, we are going by something called the Gregorian calendar, which is not an accurate calendar. No, and I highly recommend looking into that word, Gregorian, Greco, Demigorgon, you know, check out the origin and what that actually means. <sighs> but no, this is not an eclipse in Aries, everybody. This is an eclipse in Pisces that represents spirituality religion water right so holy wars water wars water warfare and the implications behind this eclipse and the fact that it's been held sacred for over 5000 years for sacred ritualistic purposes allegedly allegedly and i keep telling y'all there was some alleged form of ritual today possibly right is how i would say it i am there's a lot more to this than what people realize and the whole cern firing off three rockets and acting like they don't know what dark matter is 
Yeah, there's a reason that they have Shiva the Destroyer in front of CERN. And there's also a reason why this entire project that they are launching these rockets for is actually named after a serpent deity. Hmm, a serpent deity. Damn, this is getting... This is getting spooky, y'all. They, they, I don't know, man. They doing some slick-ish. The exact serpent deity that just so happens to be the arch nemesis of Ra, also known as the sun, right? Anywho, I'll delve more into this later when I get home, but nope. Sorry, guys. No eclipse in Aries. Um, that's a Gregorian calendar, not what is accurate or also referred to as God's calendar. Mm. So they playing with everybody, like I said. They playing with y'all. They didn't play with me because I watched it in real time. And everybody that was right there in real time tried to convince me that I didn't know what the hell I was talking about. No, Ratchet, you need the glasses. No, you don't need glasses to see the moon right in front of you, man. I, I'm, not, I'm not slow. You do not need glasses to see the moon right in front of you. The moon is not invisible, and I don't need glasses to see the moon. There's no way you're going to make me believe that. I don't need glasses to see the moon, and I don't need glasses to see something blocking the sun. If the, Either the sun is shining or it's not. Come on. The Large Hydrogen Collider called CERN. No. And look at that, look at that uh, imagery. Known as the Atom Smasher. Six. 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 Boom. That's CERN. That's CERN, y'all. Allegedly. A particle accelerator with the circumference of 17 miles, 350 feet deep, where they found the idol of a god, Sir Nunes. Sir Nunes. Look at this. Sir Nunes. That's who they, allegedly they're named after. Allegedly, y'all. Allegedly. Half man, half beast. Half man, half beast. I told y'all this was... <laughs> Y'all think this is a game, right? I, I look, I don't miss. Big Ratchet don't miss, man. Look at this. And I got to keep pausing it for uh, fair use. But come on, y'all. Influenced by the serpent in the land of Apollyon. And that's the serpent deity. Allegedly. Look at that. That's the serpent deity. And that, 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 this is... You can't make this shit up, man. Now inside this collider... They have a massive ape spoked atlas detector. And I saw this thing today. It's massive. It's all the way underground at CERN headquarters. They got to go 90 meters underneath the ground to go into this thing. It, it, I, it was weird, man. I, I don't know, man. This shit is weird. Consisting of eight coils with a circle in the middle. Let's count the coils one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight uh, let's focus in and pay attention y'all in the ancient world you have the same design the hindus have it mm. man 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 the aztec sunstone has it even witchcraft has eight sections in a circle in the middle <sighs> you can't make this stuff up y'all I've been trying to warn y'all, it's coming. It is coming. There are eight world religions. The Dome of the Rock, where they falsely claim the location of God's temple, has it. Hmm. Look at all this, bro. Look at all this. You can't make this up. The Pope holds a monstrance with the same design. He serves in the Vatican City in St. Peter's Basilica. Look at this. You can't make this up. This is all the same thing. They are about to, what's about to happen next? It's going to get wicked. It's going to get wicked. I don't know which side y'all on, but you better pick a side quick. Look, we about 200 subscribers away from 120,000, y'all. Can we get 200 people to hit, hit that subscribe button in here? Can we get 200 people to hit that subscribe button so we can hit 120K tonight? Let's go. Where there's a circle in the middle with an obelisk. Now, how many spokes do you count? Eight. Look, eight again. You can't make this up. This is the same design from CERN. Could this be a blueprint 
of a mass project of revelation proportions, the Mayan civilization had this same device. They believed it was a gateway. See, you can't make it up, man. It's all the same device, the same design. They, uh, they, they designed it to look just like, come on, man. That led from a serpent rope to the underworld. Much like the movie Stargate, where they used an eight-spoke device for teleportation. And remember, Beyonce had the same design at her concert. They playing with y'all, man. Y'all better, y'all better, man. I, right, y'all better pray up. And pick a side. Now watch this trailer carefully, and ask yourself if there are any similarities. And of course, I'm not gonna play the trailer, but there's a bunch of weird stuff going on in this, man. You see the, yeah, you start to see it, man. Allegedly, allegedly. So as y'all see right there, man. They are playing in everyone's face. And I'm talking about they are playing, playing, playing. And this is getting scary, man. I mean, you can't be scared of nothing. But I'm just saying, just if you're just being serious, man, you start to think of it. It's like some scary stuff because these per these people, you know, they, they got the power to just, you know, fuck up our shit. Let's go. All right. Besides the fact that CERN is being powered on for the eclipse today around 2 p.m. Eastern, uh, they are announcing that they found a ghost. There's a specter haunting the tunnels of particle accel accelerator at CERN. And the SPS, physicists have finally measured and quantified an invisible structure that can divert the course of the particles therein, create problems for particle research. It's described as taking place in phase space, which can represent one or more states of moving system. Since four states are required to represent the structure, the researchers view it as a four-dimensional. The structure is a result of a phenomenon known as resonance, and being able to quantify and measure it takes us a step closer to solving a problem universal to magnetic particle accelerators. Stay woke, y'all, and listen to this article. And I told y'all, Shiva, the destroyer, they want to destroy. What, what are they destroying? And what is Shiva sent to destroy? What are, what are they trying to destroy, y'all? With these resonances, what happens is the particles don't follow exactly the path we want, and they fly away and get lost, says physicist, can't say his name, of GSI in Germany. This causes beam degradation and makes it difficult to reach the required beam parameters. Resonance occurs when two systems interact and sync up. It could be a resonance emerging between planetary orbits as they gravitationally interact in their journey around a star, or a turning tuning fork starts to sympathetically ring when sound waves from another tuning fork hits its tines. There's a lot of things in this article that I'm not understanding exactly how they work because I'm not a physicist, but they are admitting that they found a ghost that is disrupting particles and they can't explain why and they're saying it now when the eclipse is happening today that it's going to potentially open a portal and something's either going to come through or we're going to send something through the portals i told y'all they're saying there's some ghost that they've been communicating with they don't know what it is but they want to figure it out they're saying they 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 have been in contact with something that has a personality they won't say exactly what this is they're just saying hey look we're talking to something it's basically responding back to us it, it, it got a it got a personality we we can't explain it but we're gonna send a portal out and something either gonna come out of it which may be the ghost or we're gonna send something through now if it's a ghost how the hell are you gonna know if it come through the portal so you might have just opened up the portal to whatever the fuck you thought was, you don't know what the hell you doing so it's insane there's a statue of shiva the destroyer out front of cern which i have posted in the picture below um, but yeah, just wanted to update you guys about the ghost they found. So I hope everybody has a great day. So as you see right there, they allegedly have found a ghost deity or something. They don't know what the fuck they talking to. They just over there talking to things in other dimensions, allegedly. And they've opened up the, they've opened up the gates to something. What did they open up the gates to, y'all? It might be shit. I mean, it's, they've always said it was hell on earth, allegedly. They've always said this was hell on earth. But I think now more than ever, I think now more than ever, 
You about to witness it. I think now more than ever. Let's continue. Video, I was telling y'all about how four solar eclipses correlate with earthquakes, right? Well, since this month, we've already had three different earthquakes. April 2nd, there was an earthquake in Taiwan. April 4th, there was an earthquake in California. And April 5th, New Jersey and New York was hit with a 4.8 earthquake. How I run it, 4.8, the same day the eclipse falls on. Now, let me tell y'all what NASA is doing the day of the eclipse. That's shooting three rockets in the sky towards the eclipse. One 45 minutes before the eclipse, another one during the eclipse, and the last one 45 minutes after the eclipse. That's what they wouldn't. They not trying to tell y'all. They were sending them before, during, and after the eclipse, allegedly, in in, in a spot, and they don't want to tell y'all why they were doing this. Let's continue. Now they're calling this mission APEP, A P E P, and according to them, it means atmospheric perturbations around the eclipse path. Now NASA claims they're shooting these rockets up there to test the ionosphere, but what got me is there's also an APEP in Egyptian mythology which is an ancient Egyptian deity in the form of a giant demonic snake that embodies darkness and disorder. Here's another definition for it. Nemesis of the sun god, evil god of darkness. Each night it would attempt to devour the sun. Are y'all listening to this? Because this is what I just told y'all that CERN was uh you just seen the, the image I showed y'all with the snake and that's supposed to be like the evil deity and that's... Uh, just this is what CERN is about. So just pay attention to this. Listen again. Before the eclipse, one forty-five minutes before the eclipse, another one during the eclipse, and the last one forty-five minutes after the eclipse. Now they're calling this mission APEP, A P E P, and according to them, it means atmospheric perturbations around the eclipse path. Now NASA claims they're shooting these rockets up there to test the ionosphere, but what got me is there's also an APEP in Egyptian mythology which is an ancient Egyptian deity in the form of a giant demonic snake that embodies darkness and disorder. Here's another definition for it. Nemesis of the sun god, evil god of darkness. Each night it would attempt to devour the sun. He was considered the embodiment of chaos and sought to bring about the end of life and life within the mortal universe and plunge it into darkness. But don't take my word for it. Look it up yourself. Also, CERN's most powerful and largest particle accelerator is set to smash protons together the day of the eclipse to search for invisible particles secretly powering our universe. And we all know about the statue of Shiva, the god of destruction, sitting right outside the CERN building. Now, Texas, Indiana, and Niagara Falls are all calling a state of the emergency for the eclipse. Why? I have no idea, but all of this stuff just makes me think of end times. I bet y'all didn't hear about lightning striking the Statue of Liberty April the 5th. Thing. So they said lightning strike the uh struck the uh Statue of Liberty uh, on uh April 5th. Allegedly, allegedly lightning struck the Statue of Liberty April 5th. And there's an earthquake. Or how a trillion cicadas are supposed to emerge in the southwest, and how they're calling some of them zombie cicadas because they are infected with a sexually transmitted fungus. Kind of reminds me of when the Bible was talking about the swarms of locusts in the last days. Now, I'm not trying to scare y'all or tell y'all to worry about the end tomorrow, but I do suggest everybody get right with God while you still got time. They got us so distracted with these drugs, the partying every day, the drinking. We spent hours a day just scrolling on social media, hours a day watching sports, hours a day working a job, but nobody got time for God. If there wasn't a God, I promise you these people wouldn't be promoting the devil so much. If you don't know God, please build a relationship with him. Also, TikTok been trying to remove all my recent videos due to them saying I'm spreading false information. Everything I'm saying, you can look up for yourself. So if they remove this video, that's even more proof. Also, keep praying for me. Zero evidence on what I was... So, yeah, this dude doing some time. He's a TikToker, but allegedly... uh. There's some stuff going on, y'all, with this with this CERN, man. There's a lot of stuff going on, and they playing right in everybody's face. They sitting there playing right in everybody's face. Right in everybody's face, man. Let's listen to this. Let's listen to this shit, man. You can't make all this up, man. What's up, T-Talk? As you can see, my video about the solar eclipse was deleted. Mm, I wonder why. Now, if you didn't see my video, a total solar eclipse is basically when the moon completes the 17, and the next one won't be until 2045. Now, like I stated in my last video, 
Why our flight is starting at forty nine dollars on the day of the eclipse? Why are schools shutting down? Why did the news give us tips which read schedule errands and appointments early? Have a communication plan with family and friends. And they they did say all that. I showed y'all the newscast last night. They were like, hey, man, make sure you and your family uh, have a plan in case y'all get lost and, and lose con uh, communication with each other. They were planning on phones going out. They were planning on a whole lot of stuff. And I don't know. I, I guess they thought this stuff could go wrong when they unleashed all these powers. But uh, I mean, I, obviously it didn't happen. But man, this is some scary shit. Have cash on hand in case of limited internet access. Buy necessary groceries and gas ahead of time and expect heavy traffic and long lines at local services. These solar eclipses have been happening since the Roman Empire days. Now, I'm not saying that this has anything to do with the Bohemian Grove. I'm not saying a, I'm not saying that a certain group of people worship this owl god called Moloch. And I'm not saying that they believe they have to sacrifice the most purest, innocent human being for this god to repay their karma. I'm not saying that a bunch of kids went missing in Hawaii on this island called Maui. Hmm. And I have been trying to wake people up on that for the longest, because while everybody was watching the fires, everybody just kept on watching these uh, alleged man-made fires. I was asking everybody, where did those thousands of missing kids go? And then you start to see the underground tunnels out there and the the, the ports for the, the the docking stations where they used the. Uh, they used the boats to go trap uh, traffic and stuff. Allegedly, man, it was a lot going on out there. Then I started showing y'all on my Instagram. I have a video on there of how they were taking all these kids to airports and they were flying off with people who weren't even their families and they wouldn't answer no questions. Everybody was pulling up in these white vans and they had these badges with these go look on my Instagram It's pinned at the top of my Instagram. I did like a million some views on that video. It's some stuff going on. I've been covering a lot of stuff, man. I'm telling you, I'm trying to wake everybody up. Let's go. The same. No, I'm not saying everything was burnt down except these particular group of people, lands and properties. I'm not saying that Oprah, Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg and other celebrities all own land on this particular island. I'm also not saying that residents of Hawaii seen the laser in the sky before the fire started. And I'm not saying that Drake's only resembles the owl statue of the Moloch. Now, if you do your own research, Every time before a solar eclipse has happened, a war was going on except in 2017. And like I stated in my last video, there has been a measles outbreak in Chicago, and it's the airborne disease, and it's highly contagious. Now, I'm not saying that 98 people are already in quarantine due to this disease already. I'm not saying that something big is going down before this year's election. And I'm definitely not saying that the news stated that we could be headed towards another shutdown. Also, my donations are up to $2,000, and I appreciate man, all of you. Man, 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 man. So he's not saying none of that. I ain't saying it either. I'm not saying none of that's going on. Let's keep that a book. I ain't saying none of that's going on. Only thing I know, the only thing I know is that nothing that they telling me makes sense. That's what I know. Nothing that y'all are saying to me makes sense. And you can't make it make sense to me because I looked at the damn sun today. And I did not see no, uh, when I looked up at the sun, I didn't see no moon in front of it. I'm sorry. I didn't see it. I don't care what y'all say y'all saw with them glasses on. There was no moon in front of that sun. Let's continue, y'all. I'm just saying, man, you can't, you can't just lie to me like that. Look at this, man. Now, you see, look at that black hole right there in the middle of the sun. Everybody's starting to see it now. It, it used to you used to didn't see all that but this is what they said the eclipse this wasn't no damn eclipse man i don't know what the hell this was this wasn't no damn eclipse the moon just don't pop out from the middle of the sun and then just disappear like yeah that ain't how it happens that, that, that's not an eclipse man i don't know what this was i don't believe this is no eclipse i'm sorry i don't know what they what they calling this but this wasn't no damn eclipse what do y'all think was this an eclipse Drop the gems if this was an eclipse to y'all. Drop the caps if this was not an eclipse. What was this? And if it wasn't an eclipse, what the hell was it? Just look at this. Look at this. If this is not an eclipse, what is it? Because I don't know what the hell is going on, but I just think they're playing with us. I think they over here playing with us. He said, nope. He said that part. 
Let's see, y'all. Was this an eclipse? Let me know if this was an eclipse. Drop the caps if they playing with us. Drop the gems if this was really an eclipse, y'all. Saw it with my own eyes. <sighs> OG, I don't know what you thought you saw, but I guarantee you that was not the moon covering the sun. I guarantee you that. I promise you that. I, I don't, I'm not saying you didn't see something. I'm just saying what you saw was definitely not the moon covering the sun. That's all I'm going to say. I don't know what the hell you saw, but it definitely was not the moon covering the sun. So as I just showed y'all right there, the moon don't come from the middle of the sun. Explain that part. How, where did the moon come from? It has to come from the side somewhere. It don't come from just the middle of the sun and just appear and then just disappear in, in the middle of the sun. The sun don't swallow up the moon. That ain't how it works. We watch the moon every day. We watch the sun rise and the, and the moon. We watch this every day. Now, I'm a, now, let me expose this for you. Now, watch this. You can't deny what I'm going to show you now. Now we get into the good part of the show. Now I'm going to expose it all for you. OG Prana, now I want you, I want you to, to make this part make sense. Since you've seen it with your own eyes, now make this make sense. Listen to this. You can't, you can't deny logic. Now let's go. So figure this one out, okay? All you freaking people watching the eclipse right now, okay? This street right in front of me runs perfectly east to west. I live in Arizona, okay? This street is directly east and west. All of our streets run in a perfect north, south, east, west grid. That's how our streets are designed, okay? They're telling all you people this eclipse is coming from the, from Texas and going towards the northeast, okay? This direction is east. This direction is perfectly west where I'm sitting. Get the likes up, y'all. Get the likes up. Now make this part make sense. Make this make sense, y'all. Okay? This is the street goes that way and goes that way. It's perfectly, okay? The sun is right here, Okay? It is moving east to west here. It is moving to the west. It is not moving to the northeast based on what our directions are here in Arizona. So what the fuck are you guys looking at it for this eclipse? That's not what you think it is. I'm telling you, it's not. Well, I don't know what y'all are. I don't know what y'all were viewing today. I have no idea what y'all were looking at. I saw nothing. I ain't saying everybody saw nothing because obviously people did see something. But I don't know what the fuck that was. That is not what you think. That is not what you thought it was. Let's continue. What our directions are here in Arizona. So what the fuck are you guys looking at it, for this eclipse? That's not what you think it is. Because why is the sun going from east to west perfectly across the sky? And they're all telling you on the news that it's going from Texas to fucking Maine. Something's fucking weird, people, because I'm sitting here literally watching this shit go east to west perfectly across the sky. So what the fuck are you all watching? Man, man, man. I don't know what they was watching. I'm going to be real. I have no idea what y'all thought y'all was watching. It was not what you thought it was, though. Y'all was over here like, oh, man, I seen it, Ratchet. You should have had the glasses, man. You should have had it. Salute, Gamer X. I appreciate that five piece. Says the moon was swallowed by the sun. I appreciate your third super on the live stream. But yeah, the moon got swallowed up by the sun. The sun, the moon went directly in the middle of the sun and got swallowed up. You can't make this up, man. That, some people just got it. Y'all got to wake up, man. That's all I can say. Y'all have got to wake up. Look at this. Man. I'm turning red. Yeah, it turned red. Is it burning through the moon? Oh, that's what I'm saying. Go. Is it burning through? The, like that's what I'm saying. Where the it don't just this ain't no damn. What is this? Eclipse right there. This ain't no eclipse, man. Oh yeah, that whole lot. Man, 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 man. man. <laughs> what is this, y'all? Look how big it is compared to the moon. I mean, to the sun. It's way bigger than the sun, bro. Whatever is passing, yeah, it's huh? way bigger than the sun. Now, look at this, y'all. Whatever what? passing the sun, it's way bigger than the sun for shit, y'all. Oh. I just seen the whole eye. Uh, eye. Yeah, I got to record it. You can't make this up, y'all. You can't make this up. 
as you see right here, you can't make this part up, man. Like the, the moon does not do all this weird stuff. This is not what happens when the this is this is not the moon and the sun. I don't know, man. Look now, look at that. I, I just gotta expose all this tonight, man. I can't stop, man, until I I can't stop, y'all. Let's go. Okay, y'all. So I'm out here looking at the solar eclipse today, right? And it's 325. Um, I'm in Florida. Somebody tell me, am I tripping? Or did the location or the direction that the moon was moving on the sun, did it like rotate? Because the sun and the moon are not in a position they were in when we, my daughter and I was just out here about I don't know, maybe 15 minutes ago at the most, it was in a different like position. So am I tripping y'all or did it change? Like I know all y'all looking. So y'all let me know in the comments or whatever, like, am I tripping? Because it's not in the same position. The, the moon now looks as if it's coming at a diagonal from where I'm standing. But before it was moving from right to left. So What's going on with that, y'all? Somebody tell me something. So I'm telling y'all, everybody that, that, that was waking up started to make something make sense. Like, hold on. This shit ain't what they just told us it was. Ain't no way in hell this is what the hell they said it was. There, There is no way this is what they just told us it was. No way. And everybody's seen some different stuff, and everybody started noticing the path just wasn't what. Now, and then the, the experts said, Oh, we got it wrong. We had the path. How did y'all have it wrong? And y'all are experts. This is so cool. Did y'all see that? Look at this. Now, look at this. What is this? Look at this, y'all. This is what somebody sh showed me from Ratchet Gang earlier. Look at this. What is this? stuff up people started seeing shit today what is that y'all can anybody tell me what this is what is that what the hell is that that ain't no damn airplane and that wasn't no rocket what the hell was that y'all this is what somebody showed me earlier this is somebody from ratchet gang they was they was watching the shit and then this happened let's watch that again Back up. <laughs> this is so cool awesome. what is that <laughs> It, it just disappeared. It's gone. Back up. Just as quick as it came, it disappeared. This is so cool. What's that? What is that? What's that? Man, man, man. Like I said, you start to see they was just watching the shit like normal, like everybody. And then all of a sudden, this thing just appears out of nowhere just appears out of nowhere and it vanishes. What the fuck was that? Moving through the clouds like that. Look at that, y'all. What is that? Can anybody in here tell me what the hell this was that appeared today? What is that, y'all? What is that? Can somebody tell me what that is? They say dragon. They said that's a face. They say dragon. It's a bat. They say it's the Batman. They said blue beam. They said a ship. Somebody recorded, they said, somebody recorded this from Dallas on TikTok. Yeah, this was one of my subscribers. One of my subscribers was, was filming this and they hit me up. They was like, hey, Ratchet, check this out, bro. Like, I was watching the shit and, won't, and boom, this is one of my subscribers who sent me this. I'm just being real. One of my subscribers was in, because I'm telling y'all, everybody knows I live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. That's, that's, my, that's my true subscribers. That's, that's why when I seen Trolls, Earlier, when I was uh, I was covering it live, and I'm telling y'all, it wasn't what y'all thought it was. And they're like, "Man, you, there's no way you're in Dallas." I'm like, "There's no way you're you're on my channel and don't believe I'm in the Dallas Fort Worth area because if you're one of my real supporters who's been here for a while, you already know I'm in Dallas. You know for a fact I'm in Dallas area. You you know I'm out here, like for real. That's why I went out there and covered it for y'all because everybody knows I'm out here. So when I showed y'all this, I knew what I was doing, man. But like I said, look at this, y'all. This is one of my subscribers who sent me this. They were watching this outside with everybody. Everybody just noticed something crazy. Now look at this again. Back up. This is so cool. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? This is so cool. This is so cool. This is so cool. This is so cool. This is 
so cool. He's what's that? What is that? What's that? Man, 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 man. So right there, y'all seen some some fugazi stuff going on. Y'all seen it. I, I didn't make that up. Y'all just seen that with y'all own eyes. Y'all just seen that with y'all own eyes. Uh, let's see, man. I don't know how else to get y'all to pay attention if that ain't wake y'all up. If that didn't wake y'all up, I don't know what else to. I don't know what else to do. It, it's some it's some spooky stuff going on here. Let's go. Let's continue. Look at this. It's a bunch of weird stuff going on today, y'all, all around the world. I hope y'all are, are waking up now. <clears throat> I hope y'all are starting to wake up. Let's keep this a big buck, man. Man, 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 man. Today was a weird day, though, man, all around the world. I I, I don't know. Did, it, did anybody feel an energy shift today? Drop the gems if you did. Drop the caps if you still feel exactly the same. Drop the gems if you felt the energy shift today. Drop the caps if you just like, nah, it's just a normal day, fam. Y'all tripping, man. Let me know in the chat. Did y'all feel the energy shift in the building? Did anybody out there feel a shift in energy today? I ain't gonna lie. Me, personally, I was out there. It felt a little fugazi. Man. It, something just feels off. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Something to me feels a, just a tad bit off. Let me see. I've been getting a lot of messages. Let me see what's going on in my DM. Cause I've been getting a lot of damn messages. Uh, I can't, Lisa. Yeah, you you sending me a bunch of voice recordings. I'm on live, so I ain't gonna be able to check that out right now. I have to check that out later. But uh, let me see. A bunch of people just sending me a whole bunch of y'all. Got to start sending me stuff before I go live. But yeah, cause I can't check all this stuff out right now. It says, look at this demonic ish. Yeah, there's a bunch. I don't know, man. I believe CERN activated some shit today. I believe NASA playing with us. I believe CERN just somebody sending me a bunch of images. Let me see. Somebody just sent me a bunch of images they, they got from the clips. Like I said, there's no way we all just witnessed all of the uh, there's no way we just witnessed all the different shit. There's no way. Let's see. What is this? OK, let me let me go. Somebody sending me some shit. Let me play this real quick. All right, let me go to my Instagram because they sending me stuff. I'm getting so many damn messages. Y'all should have sent me this stuff earlier. All right, but it's cool. I'm a uh, I'm gonna try to do this real quick. Let me play this. Somebody just sent me something on Instagram. All right, let me go to my Instagram real quick, y'all. Let's go here. Let's go here. Hold on. They got music playing. I don't want to see the music, but look at this. This is out there. In Ohio, man, I told y'all they had all of the, this is what they were doing out there in Ohio today. Now, if this don't show you that they playing with you, I don't know what else to give you. If, they, if this don't show you, I honestly don't know what else to do. I'm going to be real. If this don't show you, I don't know what else to do to you, man. Because if this don't explain nothing, they out there, they said, if we can't see the clips at 3, pay, at 3 p.m., this might be why. Yeah, they didn't want you to see what was really going on because they wanted clouds to be everywhere. They wasn't going to show y'all what was really going on. They, that's why they made clouds be everywhere in the most important places. You've seen clouds everywhere. People sending me images. Let me, I'm sending myself the images right now. So y'all just look at these chemtrails and pay attention to this, man. Y'all look at these chemtrails. If you couldn't see it today and it was like real cloudy where you were, where you were at, now you I hope you understand why it was so cloudy where you were at. Because they made it cloudy, just like they predict all the weather allegedly. They can control all the weather, man. So did you catch anything? It happened three times. You gotta watch it closely. Yeah, I did see it. Hold on, let me see. Uh this is my boy that sent me that video. Let me say, yes, I saw it. I, I'm telling you, my my uh, boy that's a subscriber, he, he's the one who sent that video. It might be going viral on TikTok. He just hit me up and asked me, did I see it? I did see it, man. I definitely saw it. And uh, let's see. They said it was, they said somebody caught three sons live on YouTube. I'm telling you there's more than one, allegedly. The first palindrome date will be the four-digit form April 2nd. 
four two twenty four April twentieth is the only seven digit palindrome of the month four twenty two thousand twenty four the twentieth also kicks off a stretch of consecutive palindrome days each day from april twenty first to the twenty ninth will be a five digit palindrome april first two thousand twenty four Salute, salute. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, man. People starting to send me a bunch of shit. Let me go to this one. All right, I'm gonna show y'all what they've been sending me. All right, let's go. Let's go over here. Let's go over here real quick because they've been sending me some ish. So these are more of the images that people captured today. This is some more of the images. Like I said, man, there's some weird stuff going on. We all seen different stuff. And that's the weirdest part about it. Everybody was looking at something different. Now, that part to me don't make no sense. How the hell was everybody looking at some different stuff? And we all looking at the same sun. But y'all think I'm crazy, right? Look at all these images, man. Look at this. Look at this one right here. Look at this. This is what one of my subscribers caught on their end today. This is what one of my subscribers saw. How you see this and we see other things. Explain that to me. Somebody in the room, explain that to me. Now I just got a video. Hold on. Damn it, man. Ooh, child. All right, let's see. All right, I got another video. All right, it says, pay. They say, pay you again it to play it in, huh? What? I don't even know what the hell that meant. All right, but look at this shit, y'all. What do y'all think about this? This image right here. What do y'all think about this image? Let me know in the chat. What y'all think about this one? Man, 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 man. So I said, oh, my God. That's what you see in them glasses. They said, what the heck? How can I send you my pic? My Instagram is the Ratchet TV. T-H-E Ratchet TV. My mods will drop my link in the chat. My mods will drop my link in the chat. So uh, if you want to send me an image, send it to me on Instagram right now. Go ahead. My DMs is open. I'm taking all pictures right now. My daughter was taking pictures. And this is what she saw. Okay, somebody else finna send me something. Just send me the pictures if y'all got them. I'm on live right now. Just start sending me the stuff. And this is this looks weird, right? Look at this, y'all. Look at this shit. All right, let me see. Hey, I'm getting a bunch of messages. My damn phone going slow as hell right now, too. I ain't gonna even lie. It's like I'm losing damn. All right, let's see. Let me capture these and let me save these messages to my phone. All right. Man, 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 man. So it's a bunch of different images from the sun today. All right. So somebody's daughter sent them some pictures. Let me get all these damn pictures on my phone. All right, hold on. Let's continue. Damn, I'm getting a bunch of messages, y'all. So look at this shit. This is what another one of my subscribers seen earlier. Why the hell can't I... Where the hell is going on with my damn Wi-Fi, man? Hold on. Let me fix my damn Wi-Fi real quick, y'all. Because my damn phone is going up. Y'all hear all this shit? I hope y'all hear my damn phone. Boy, y'all blowing my shit up. It's a crescent like on my phone. I'm so mad the phone won't let us get it. Look, look. Bruh, the eclipse is happening right now. Look, look at this. You don't see the moon in the corner? Yeah, I already seen it. I was sitting over there. Oh, you good, okay. I was over there this morning. No, you still catching it right now. It's still happening. The peak was uh, 320, though. It's still happening. It's still happening. It's a crescent like on my phone. I'm so mad the phone won't let us get it. Look, look. Bruh, the eclipse is happening right now. Look, look at the sun. You don't see the moon in the corner? Yeah, I already seen it. I was sitting over there. Oh, good, okay. I was over there this morning. No, you still catching it right now. It's still happening. The peak was uh, 320, though. It's still happening. All right, y'all, hold on one second. I'm getting... I'm talking about... Man, I must... I shouldn't have said that shit, man. I just got, like, damn... A million damn messages just now. I got to send myself all this shit. And y'all sending multiple pictures. I got to save it to my phone just to get the damn images. So give me a second, y'all. Give me a second while I send myself all this shit. Because I'm talking about, man, I must have got a billion damn messages sent to me just now out of nowhere. Ooh, child. I'm, I'm sending myself everything, as y'all see. Just bear with me for a second. Because I'm talking about, man, people is blowing my shit up right now. And I see so much different stuff. I'm trying to send myself everything, but y'all, everybody's sending me shit at once. 
I'm talking about everybody is sending me shit at once. Y'all got oh child, my my damn DMs is going crazy right now. Shit. All right, y'all gotta chill right now. Hold on. I'm clicking on everybody else's shit. I'm trying to do this as fast as I can, y'all, because I'm getting bombarded right now. Okay, OG Prana. OG Prana, don't send me nothing else. Thank you. I appreciate it. You didn't send me enough. I I, I got your shit. OG Prana, don't send me nothing else, please. Because you didn't send me enough. You didn't send me enough. I'm trying to get everybody's stuff. Give me a second. I'm trying to get everybody's stuff. So give me one second, y'all. I'm almost done. I'm trying to get everybody's stuff. I, I got to send myself some more because the stuff that people sent double, I got to... Hold on. Give me a second. Some people sent me like a bunch of shit. Okay, somebody said, I see this. Okay, I'm sending myself everything and I'm going to go back and double send myself because I, I still got a few more things I got to send. All right, we almost done. Okay, thank y'all. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. All right, let's go. Man, 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 man. All right, okay, let's go. Let's look at these. Let's look at these. So I just showed y'all these. Hold on, I got two more messages that just came in. Hold on, give me one second, y'all. Give me one second. What is this? All right, save that. Save that. Okay. Let me get this message. Okay. Some people just sent me regular pictures of the sun. Okay. If it don't, if it don't got nothing in there, I mean, some people sending me shit that I don't. Okay. I see this. All right. I'm almost done, y'all. All right. I'm done. Boom. Let's look at these damn images. Man, shit, y'all is going crazy in my damn DMs. All right. I showed this. Now, this is where we left off at. Look at this. Okay, let's continue. We got this. We got these. These are just images people seen across today. I'm just showing y'all what every... It's just, it's just impossible for us to all be looking at the same thing. That's all I'm trying to show y'all. I'm trying to expose the fact that, that rainbow? we was you not looking the at the same rainbow? shit. Do you see the rainbow? Eclipse in a rainbow. No, nah, that ain't no eclipse. I don't know what you was looking at. That wasn't no eclipse, but there was an alleged rainbow on that. Look at this one. How the hell are you the same picture but exposed somebody? Okay, I see all y'all, man. I see all y'all, man. I'm trying to I'm trying to get everybody. The dark clouds. Let's continue, y'all. Look. Oh, I see it now again. Look like it's kind of floating. I'm just watching through my phone though. This shit weird, y'all. That was not the moon though. There's nobody has showed me the moon yet. That's something. Have y'all not noticed that? Everybody done showed you everything, but nobody showed you the moon. Yet. No, they have yet to show us the moon. Where is the moon? Oh, my God. So cool. Hey, it's cool, but it ain't the damn eclipse. I don't know what it is. It's some. It's, it's cool, but it ain't no eclipse. I'm going to be real with you. That is not no eclipse you're looking at. That is not no eclipse. I don't know what the hell this is, y'all. That ain't no eclipse, though. That ain't no damn eclipse. I'm going to be real with y'all. I don't know what we just witnessed, but this is not no damn eclipse. Ain't no way in hell we just witnessed an eclipse, y'all. What do y'all think, man? Do y'all believe that we just witnessed an eclipse? Do you believe that we witnessed in a, a, an eclipse, y'all? That's what I want to know from the chat. If we did, let me know. I, I don't believe... We did. Oh, yeah, I got some more information that I got. Let me send myself all this information, y'all. I got I got a whole bunch more I got to send myself. So give me a second while I, I send myself everything that I got to send. I, I still got some images to show y'all, like I said. And we about to uncover this. So give me a second. All right, I'm still sending myself this stuff. And people are still sending me stuff. If I don't get to you, then my bad. You know, if I don't get to you, my bad. I ain't do it on purpose. I'm just, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to work while I'm working. I'm just working while I'm working. So y'all got to excuse me. If I don't get to your content, if I don't get to your picture, then hey, my bad. I'm trying, but I, it, it, I'm getting bombarded with a bunch of messages. So I'm just trying to please everybody. All right, let's continue. Let me go back up here. It says, what's going on 
in NYC. The police is acting strange, not allowing people to get on the train, bro. Like they hiding something. It's mad cops in the subways. They not allowing people to get on the train. Then they would allow a few people on, then completely shut it down. This is weird. And the mayor need to address this. Big Ratchet, if it's possible, can you put some light on this situation in the NYC? Put it out there and see if others have experienced this, just as people in Harlem did. 125 and 9th Avenue, A, B, C, A, B, C, I know, A, D, C, B, E train station. Then you could have uh, even get a metro, you couldn't even get a metro card. And this is what you need to get on the train. This was just weird and strange. Never happened before. Did this happen to anybody else? Did anybody else experience this? They said, don't be sending no copy pick. Did anybody else experience this? Or is this, you know, I don't know. I don't live in New York. So tell me, did y'all experience this out there in New York today? Somebody tell me. Let me know in the chat. Hey, we reached 120,000 subscribers, by the way, y'all. We hit 120,000 subscribers, y'all. Man, we're doing big things over here, gang. We hit 120K. All right, let's continue. Look at these images, y'all. Look at this shit. What is this? The hell is this? What is going on with this, y'all? It's a bunch of weird stuff. I don't know, man. Look at that. What the hell is this? I don't know what in the hell was going on. See, this is what one of my subscribers allegedly seen, too. This is what I don't know, man. There's some weird stuff. Look at this. I don't know what in the hell was going on, man. This is some weird stuff. Every Everybody's son looked different. So how many sons are there? If everybody had a different version of the son, then how many sons are there? Because we wasn't looking at the same shit. Ain't no way in hell we was looking at the same shit. Look at this. Man, man, man. Like I said, everybody had a different view of the sun today. It's just, it's weird, man. Everybody's view was just different. Everybody's view is different. It just don't make sense how everybody saw something different today. People saw UFOs. People saw all kinds of crazy things. Look at this. It's just a bunch of weird shit happening in the sky, but they had chemtrails everywhere. You couldn't really determine what was going on because they threw so many damn clouds in the sky. So that was the distraction. They threw so many clouds in the sky. They created the distraction for us. You couldn't see all the stuff if you wanted to. Ain't no way in hell you was going to see all this stuff. Look, man, I ain't going to lie. I, I got bombarded with so many messages. I can't take no more, man. Y'all y'all sending me so much stuff so fast. I'm talking about I must have got like 50 messages that damn quick. And I, yeah, y'all should have sent me the stuff earlier. Y'all should have sent me the stuff earlier. But somebody did hit me up and they said that they had a prayer that they wanted to get off. And uh, they said uh, they had a, a dream or vision. And they said, I was in prayer this morning and the Lord began to speak to me and the Lord said to me, this is an urgent message that needs to go forth into the nations. And this is the message that the Lord gave me. The Lord said to me, when you begin to see the signs of time, know that uh, my time, excuse me, know that, uh, know that my coming is near. Many people are not taking my coming serious. Many believers are not on their post. The Lord then said, they are preparing the way of the beast. If I was to show my people what was happening in the spiritual realm, there would be an urgency, Lord said. Many of the faith will go through, through the tribulation. Many will turn away from the faith. And then the Lord said they, that many will stand with him. As I began to go deeper in prayer, as I began to commune with the Lord, the Lord then showed me a vision and the vision the Lord allowed me to see a volcano erupting as uh, and as the volcano was erupting. I saw many demonic spirits. I saw many demons coming out of the volcano. And then the Lord showed me the name of Pauline. The last thing the Lord said to me, he said, I am speaking from the heavens into your mouth. These words that I give you 
they mu they must be fulfilled. The Lord said to me, warn them of my return because it's near. And that's what one of my subscribers sent to me earlier and said they was in deep prayer. And they just wanted to get that off on my platform. So I definitely would allow you to get that off on my platform. Most definitely. So with that being said, I want to ask the chat. Do y'all want to come up and say anything? Does anybody want to come up and speak or say anything about what happened today? I'm going to open up the lines right now. I've almost been on live for two hours. So I'm going to open up the lines and ask anybody. Is there anything that y'all want to say today? Anything y'all want to say? Here goes the uh, link. You hit that StreamYard link. You put your username in, your email. That's how you call into the show. It's not a number. You got to hit that StreamYard link. I'll pin it to the top of the chat or it'll be floating out there in the chat. I did a poll earlier. We got almost 3,000 people to vote on that poll. It said, are we in trouble or are we tripping out? And the one option was, yes, repent now. You still have time. That was 65%. And I said, stop it. Nothing is going on. That got to 34%. The poll completed 2.7K votes. We got 2.7K people to vote on that poll. We still got over 4,000 people in here watching this video. Salute to uh, American Girl. Says, your channel showed up on my feed last week, and I've been watching every live since. Great content. I'll give more when I can. Blessings. Hey, that five was more than enough. I do appreciate you so much for that five dollars you just sent me. Thank you so much. Anything counts. I appreciate all that, man. I take all the love I can. We hit 68, uh, excuse me, 69 dollars tonight. We 31 away from 100 from a honey bun. I ain't mad at that at all, man. We've been doing good for a long time. I ain't tripping off that. So, you know what I'm saying? If we hit the 31, cool. If not, just hit the like button, man. Get this trending down the algorithm. That's all I really care about. I just want you to hit that like button and get this trending. That's all I want. We almost got 2,000 likes on this video already. Can I get 30 people to hit that like button so we can get to 2,000 likes on this stream? Shea Pressure. I do appreciate you, Shea Pressure, for getting that YouTube membership. Welcome to that tiny thug. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, y'all, as I just told y'all, oh, hold on, hold on. Somebody called in. I don't know who this is, so I got to put my banner up. I don't know who this is. So, let me... uh. Let me get this going. Hold on. Oh, shit. My fault. All right. What's good, Detroit? What up, dog rats? What up? Man, I'm watching you. And I'm watching my mans on, in southwest Detroit. And they talking about the same greatness. You know how you had your camera pointed at the sun. And that little thing was at the bottom. Paul Satan. Yeah. And um, I'm waiting for, you know, like to get complete darkness, you know what I mean? But all yeah, I just see dark. is the cloud. And I can still see the the thing. So I'm talking to them. I'm asking my sister because she's a school teacher. I'm like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, why? If it's supposed to be eclipse and it's supposed to, like, look, you know, like cover the whole sun, like, why everything didn't turn black? I ain't getting no black. But the downtown Detroit, I'm looking at the news, they talk about they got all black. So how could, like, one side of the city get black and other side don't see don't get no black but we all up under the same sun this is the part just like kind of confusion yeah see, I, fam, I'm, I'm telling you if I you pay attention you now now yeah. I'll, I'll let you get in there in one second my, my time and i see you backstage ben i'm gonna bring you up in one second uh if you pay attention i was in dallas i was oh let me mute you because you got an echo i was in dallas People were in, I mean, I'm not in Dallas, but I'm like right by, I'm on the cusp. I'm in the DFW Metroplex, so I'm not in Dallas, but maybe like 30 minutes away from Dallas, not far. I'm not across the world. I'm in the same Metroplex they're in. So they're dark. Downtown Dallas, they said we got black as it we was dark. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm looking at the same sun in the same sky you're looking at. So make this part make sense to me. How is it dark where you're looking at? And I'm in the same metro. Was it like you. it was like a tourist attraction? Why was the tourist attraction spot turned dark when everybody had a little glass? There's something talking about they ain't even have to have their glasses on, and they showing what happened downtown Detroit. And I'm on the west side. I ain't nothing but what twenty miles, twenty five miles away from downtown. And I'm like, people even down river, like it went all black. But my didn't go all black. I can still see it. 
So, like, I mean, I just can't figure this out. Like, was this like a tourist attraction thing for like downtown? Like you said, you you in Dallas, but they get black downtown, but you outside the city and you don't get black. It just don't make no sense. I'm gonna ben, say exactly what it was. Ben, it can was... you Ben, can you hear me? All right, my bad. Hold on, Ben. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, man. Can you hear me? All right, all right. Give me one second, Ben. Okay, go ahead, Mob. I said I just want to make sure you was real. I'm gonna tell you exactly what that was. That was a blue bean project at its finest. Uh, reason why I say it was a blue bean project, because I did some like research on blue bean, and also my girl was driving literally less than five miles away from me, and she was driving while it happened. And um, when I was when I was back at uh the house, I looked out the window and it got dark. And I'm like, oh, hold on, let me call it. I called on FaceTime. She's like, oh, it ain't dark right here. I'm like, how? Is you five miles away? Like, it don't, it, it wasn't adding up. That wasn't adding up for one. Then another thing that tripped me out, I was watching on news. They had a countdown. It was on, I forgot what channel it was. NASA did yeah. a countdown. They said 10, 9, 8. They That's what I'm trying one. to say. They got down to one, then everything just went dark. Man, that's what I'm saying. Switch. How they how they gonna just count it down with second like ten? Yeah, nine, eight, well, and it went dark. I said, and everybody go, go ahead, clapping. Man. I said, oh man, what is that's this a weird off? thing, man. Like I I don't mean to cut you off, but I mean my son, my son his school, um, on his school calendar since the beginning of the year, this day's been blacked out to for a day off since the beginning of the school year. I mean they've known this is going to happen for. I mean, quite a while now. Um, this has been since the beginning of last year. And then on top of that, I mean, I don't, I don't so much think it's a blue beam thing as much as I believe that what we saw today was the black sun. I mean, you could go in. I know you had today, Ratchet, you had uh, some videos going on with uh, there was the one girl speaking of uh, the Soundgarden song, Black Hole Sun. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's really the closest to what we saw today. Um, I don't want to like cast out that blue beams fake because I mean, blue beam is real indeed. I mean, that's been shown, but for, for sure, something was orchestrated today, like in terms of they knew the black sun was coming. Cause mm -hmm. I mean, you can look back at old Antiquitech. I mean, th they've shown that there was the black it's like the black demon statue or whatever it is like holding the sun. I mean, something was shown there today. I mean, I agree with you a hundred percent ratchet that we did not see the moon today. A hundred percent that there was no moon in the sky. Um, Cause I mean, like you had said earlier when you were outside, I mean, that shit wasn't, it, it's not just going to show up out of nowhere and just be like, Hey, I'm blocking the sun. And then, yeah, <laughs> I mean, sorry. Kind yeah, I know you're making perfect sense because you got to think about this. If the if the moon is going to cover the sun and it's orbiting around the world, then you're going to see the moon come in your vision and it's going to get out of your vision. But you'll still see it, not maybe blocking the sun, but you see it next to the sun going to the next destination. You never saw the moon. The moon never moved in front of your vision and you could not see the moon it it appeared and disappeared. Where did it go? No one can show you no no visual of the moon leaving the sun's vision and going somewhere. Where did the moon go? It just disappeared into the middle of the sun. It appeared from the middle of the sun and disappeared into the middle of the sun. What the fuck did we just witness? Yeah, I mean, I, I see even some of in the chat where they're saying it's like a new moon and everything and you can't see the sun. That that doesn't make sense. We've seen a new moon many times throughout fucking existence, I guess you could say. Um, it, yeah, this it just doesn't work like that. <laughs> I don't I don't know how people are getting like blown away by what they just one day of not seeing the moon and they think it's everything's blown out the window. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's weird, man. What's going on, uh, Jamie? Jamie, what's going on? Hey, Ratchet. Um, what's up, man? 
Always um, Graces man. and Grit. Thank you for that 10 piece. And Gia, thank you for that 10 piece. Thank both of y'all. Graces and Grit and Gia. My bad. But Thank I want to know, um, do y'all understand that um, a comic was supposed to be out there too? It's called the Blue Devil comic. Mm -hmm. The Devil's comic, yep. The Devil comic was moving too. That's kind of, you know, I think I learned that in the Scrology. Um, that's one that um, it don't come regular as much, but I think it come every 400 years. And that was traveling too. I was wondering if that little dash where you show earlier through the cloud was much. I wonder if that was the comic came through. Could have been. I mean, I, yeah. the only thing I know is my screen started, like the sun started gyrating almost. The screen, yeah. and, that's why, and I was like, bro, I'm not touching the screen. I'm inside my car. I don't know why the sun is glitching like that, but me not knowing, I'm confused because I'm thinking the moon is going to come into the sun at some point. And I'm thinking it's going to go black. So I'm not knowing in Dallas it's a blackout right now. While my screen is gyrating, everybody in Dallas is like, it's going on right now, Ratchet. It's happening right now. It's black. I'm like, wait, what is going on? I'm yeah. live. And certain people that were in my chat were like, fam, there's no way you're in Dallas. But not knowing, I'm dead ass out here. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not in Dallas. I'm born and raised. I've been in DFW my entire life. But I'm like right down the street from Dallas. So I'm maybe not be in the city, but I'm right there where... I could pull up in Dallas 30 minutes. What are you talking about? I'm not, I'm right here. So how is it black where y'all are at? And what are y'all talking about? I'm I'm on live right now. You don't see nothing. I'm like, what the fuck? This is so I'm confused. I'm still waiting on the moon to pop out. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm like, wait, what? It happened. It's over. Getting I thought it was just like, beginning. Uh, oh my bad. Hey, let me say one no, more no, thing no, too. Ahead. I'm gonna say one go more ahead, thing too. I stay out in Murder Beach, South Carolina. So the day was kind of cool when I um, wake up this morning. It was kind of cool early morning, but early that day, like 12, the sun used. So we was out at lunch at 12. So we all standing up. The ray from the sun, it was. It got kind of hot. And then I kind of feel like something was scorching me at the same time. And then when I walked back in the building, I got, I kind of feel weak, like something pulled my energy away from me. So as I went back at the back of the warehouse, because I work at 84 Lumber, so we all out on the dock chilling and just looking. All of a sudden, outside got dark. It started getting dark. Then it's like a cold burst of air. Like it just got, like the temperature dropped. It like it dropped like in, to us, like 50 something degrees is cold to us. Because I mean, we used to live in, in like 67 degrees. Like that's good weather to us. Like it, the, I gotta feel this number cold chill for the next thirty minutes. It's like outside start getting dark. Then it's like cold. It got cold, and I'm like, it's kind of strange. I'm like, the day was good weather. At twelve, this ray when we were standing out the door, it was like kind of scorching us. And when I walked in, my energy leave me like I felt drained. And then when I walked to the back of the house, which we call the back of the house, with a dog. When I hit the dock, it got cold back there. The whole like the whole area back there has been cold, like for thirty minutes straight. And then when I got off at um at three, I got off at three three thirty. Outside was back hot again. It's like it was crazy, but you could still have that shade of shade of like darkness. Still like cloud, the clouds dark up. Everything was like it wanted to rain because anybody who lived in the Carolinas they know. Hold on, one second. Hold on, one second. Hold on. Go ahead, Rick. Go I got one question. Go ahead. Uh, we we, we the Western country, right? Mm -hmm. So the so the sun set in the west. This this path of uh uh the eclipse went from Texas. I'm in North Carolina. It went from Texas up to New York somewhere. Now, has y'all getting it? Y'all get y'all got the uh, eclipse before we did, and New York got it after we did. So that means that sun is moving toward the west. I mean, toward the the, uh, the Middle East. That 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 sun is moving that way. If we yeah. getting the eclipse in North Carolina, we got it at three. 
Y'all got it at like what what time y'all get y'all? Like 12 something. That don't make sense. I, I I'm trying to figure it out. Well go ahead. Well that's ahead. that that's the weird thing. Like, so y- you gotta think the sun's moving from the east to the west, but the way supposedly, I guess you could say, allegedly, the moon the moon was moving from Texas up to Maine. So that's where it's getting that cross intersection. So when it was moving from Texas to Maine, that's where that intersect line was. And that's where basically they were saying it was going over like Rapture and all the the, the other, I don't know what the heck you call them, Neve, Neveva, Neveas or whatever. Yeah, Nineveh. Uh, Nineveh, yeah. Um, but that's basically why it was moving up and coming eastbound. Yeah, and that's why it was going, I guess you could say, back in time it looked like. That yeah, but that right there, it really didn't make sense to me. Okay, like, Rex, I got a question though. You were talking yeah. about the gar particles, right? That they yeah. was uh collecting. Um, I'm like, you experienced this now. Do you think that all oh, that was like a play, like to cover one part and they couldn't cover the whole thing to get these particles you're talking about? And um uh, uh, that logo, you know, I'm the one that sent you that. How much was that first Apple computer? And you was talking about that symbol that this, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, represent like the three sixes. You can see the three sixes in that. What's that? That C E R N. Sorry. Yeah. That right there. And then, you know, some just said, look up, I don't know, look up how much the first Apple computer cost because of the bite and all that. And they came with $600. And 66 cents. Like, why they put the 66 cents? Like, what was the significance of the 66 cents being at the end? You know what I mean? So, like, they putting it right there in your face, and then they do it with that logo on the logo with the, uh, you know, like that same little design with the six. You can see it in there, like you said. You know what I mean? And then you're looking for the God, God particles. And then you shoot this little play. It's like you're doing it right in front of people, like face. It's like you're putting it right in their face. All right, hold on. I got somebody backstage. Give me one second. Let me see who this is. Kenji, what's up? Hey, what's going on, Ratchet? Go ahead. You said you had it around 12 in Texas? Like around 12.30, I want to say. Something like that. I can't remember. Right. I was in Virginia crossing the 17 Bridge. That long bridge around two forty. Is that his phone? It got. It only got. You can see it dimmed. The whole above me just dimmed. But then around the dim, like it was a certain radius. Outside of that, it was light. And then I looked up, and it was just nothing but a bright ass sun. <laughs> for real, for real. That's all I saw. Literally a bright sun, and then it started moving up towards the New York area going up that way and they just start spraying the sky and then it was so dark basically so that darkness shit was crazy it was crazy you um, said they were spraying something yeah they would stay I was watching them spray because it was it was uh, uh you know you know what I'm saying Rex you know, so maybe that hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, him, let, him, let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Yeah, you know, I'm a uh, you know, I'm a truck driver, so I'm all over. I'm in every state all the time. So I was coming from Myrtle Beach coming up. So when I was coming up, the whole sky was clear. And then, like in Ohio, what they said in Ohio, Ohio was like that. I saw them spray, boom, they sprayed whatever they sprayed was that uh, that stuff to make it cold. So they want to cool down the frequency, remember. They were turned on CERN for CERN to uh, take care of the upper atmosphere part. And what NASA was doing was 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 doing something on the bottom part. So they was covering both parts. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like we in like in the middle of it, whatever they was doing. But like in the particles. Yes, it was the particles because <clears throat> it was basically it was. You have to understand the pole shift. So we looking at, okay, was it moving from this way or moving to that way? Y'all got to remember, remember, we had the pole shift. So we had a pole shift. What is what now? We had to cool them. 
Did they know they had to cool them or spray them with something to get them, you know, did they have to, you know, have it at a certain temperature? Did it have to be at a, you know, because you said. Somebody backstage, hold on one second. R Rocky, what's good? Rocky, unmute your mic. Hey, hey, my fault. Um, Y'all can keep going. Uh, can I get back later on? Sorry about that. I just got busy at the moment. Okay, well, call back in when you're not busy. Yo, right. Rocky, and another thing that, you know, we got to, we got to look at that. You have to remember, this got a lot to do also with the Bermuda Triangle, because that's where the, basically the black sun is. So the black sun rises out of the water and rises up. That was actually what's supposed to be the, the part of the so-called eclipse. But you have to remember that guy that was on NASA, he said he eclipsed, but then the real thing he said was a what? Ellipse. What is an ellipse? Ellipse. Yes. So you have to remember, certain people can look at the sun and certain people can't look at the sun. So what you said that a the guy at 84 lumber, that, that you what said you was hot. Ellipse? When you said you was hot, that was the frequency change on the planet real quick. Then it got cold. That's what they was doing. They was trying to combat the frequency that was going to take place of because of multiple suns in the sky you understand what i'm saying so that's what they came back with the chemtrails and whatever they were doing with the cern and through nasa you understand what i'm saying and whatever happened through the whole cern thing it's a spiritual thing so you can only can see it with your third eye you can feel it you understand what i'm saying yeah mm -hmm. that's what i got when you walk in I've been feeling cold. Heavy pressure on my chest lately yo i've been feeling like yeah pressure on my chest you see what I'm saying? So you, we all just have to, you know what I mean, just protect your energy. You know what I mean? Don't live in fear. No fear. Because you are what you are. You understand what I'm saying? You are energy. Shit. You, death don't exist, really. I mean, when you understand this shit. I don't shit. think nobody in fear. We're just trying to figure the play. Yeah. <laughs> well, the play is that we got to worry about what we got to worry about. We can't be worried about what they worried about. We got to continue to raise our vibration. I mean, but if we being guinea pig, they you know that guinea pig. But hear what I'm saying. You have to continue to continue to raise your vibrations, your frequencies. Long as you continue to do that, certain things is not going to fall you're not going to fall victim to for the simple fact is that your high vibrations your vibrations is moving with the planet you know what i'm saying you have people that are on high vibrations people on low vibrations so the second part of that what nasa and cern did that affected the low vibration people the aka demon face aka who uh the lower frequencies you understand what i'm saying but that listen <laughs> But could we be collateral damage if they trying to figure out uh, what the particles of God is and the breakdown? Like Rex was saying, could we be collateral damage like they tried to they, be? They so know that far? already. If you go back to when they looked at the James Dean telescope, they tell you what the particle is. Everything's already out there already. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I got, I yeah, you are a God particle. Why? Because remember, you 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 you've been clipped of your 12 strand dna you only working with two strands i'm saying so this the the the, the change of the frequency has to deal with the genetics and the dna also man this goes so deep you gotta understand who you are and know who you are you oh, right yeah I'm I'm good. Good. I, hey i got one thing um so if that you eclipse, are chosen oh I, I, got, I, I got a question if that if that eclipse was man-made and it made like a part of america go dark and they made that now they did that on their own don't you think they can also make the whole world go dark if they if they cover it up the same way mm -hmm. if they if they try to do that the same way they if if you can make an eclipse then then you can make the whole world go dark so it might have been just a test but they tried it out and that's, that's what i'm trying to say well go ahead go ahead go yeah ahead. exactly hold on ben go that, ahead that's where i don't i don't think it was man-made as much as it was just the black sun that was passing over i guess the sun 
And then that's where, when they were shooting the three rockets at it, I mean, I, I'll just get into it. I mean, I'm a, I'm a flat earther and all that junk, take oh, it as I you will. Too. But, um, I mean, I, I really feel like they were trying to hit whatever portal or I guess whatever you could say was up there. And that's where they were trying to get into the whole, uh, extract something, whether that be the, the god essence or the dark, the dark ether. I mean, they were most definitely trying to do something today to open up something, some kind of demonic entity. 100% malevolent. I mean, did there was. You, did you see the snake that I showed you? The deity that, you know what I'm saying? Shiva? No, not Shiva. Or... It's the, the, the thing that it's holding. It's like a snake that the. It's at the CERN, another place at one of the headquarters. They got a CERN statue with like. It looks like damn, almost like a oh, goat yeah, head, and it's holding a snake, and that's that supposed to be the head. evil serpent that 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 is possessing, that that is trying to unleash. It's trying to unleash this evil serpent deity. It's like a snake almost. And if you look at that sky that I showed y'all, matter of fact, I'm gonna pull this video back up, and it's almost like that serpent. Let me see if I can find this video again. Let me let me find this video. And if you look at the evil serpent that I showed y'all. It's almost like this was the evil damn serpent almost, if you pay attention to this. Is this it right here? Let me see. Was that what everybody it? was saying was the dragon? Yeah, and that's, yeah, that's what yeah, everybody's yeah. saying. It's supposed to be a dragon. But it's not a dragon, it's a serpent. Dude, that's freaking crazy. <laughs> yeah, it is crazy. Now I can't find the damn video no more. That's crazy. Now I can't find the damn video. So where, where where is this black sun uh any other time? Like where where did it come from? Like and and why we don't see it all the time. What the, the, the black sun? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the black I, sun. I, I don't know. I, don't I mean I, I truthfully think NASA or something has something because um I've been working with the, the government for quite a while now um and i mean if you look into any type of ir or infrared or anything like that i think it's just something that just those stupid glasses they gave us for today it you could basically see something more but you still can't see it i guess you could say i feel like it's a different color um spectrum that we should we, be we able can. to see yeah yeah, yeah. Cause that moon, that that so-called moon came from nowhere. I and normally I see the moon out in the daytime in a certain spot, and it never moved. Like the moon never showed up into the eclipse. I was like, "Where the moon at?" And they gave me the glasses, and I looked up there. I said, "Okay, well that's that's the moon right there," but it never like. For, for the eclipse, the the moon never uh, uh, shifted into the sun light. Give me one second. I got somebody calling backstage. I don't know who it is. Uh, Modest sister, what's up? Unmute your mic. Unmute your mic. Yeah, hi there. Hi, am hi I on the show? Yeah, yeah, you're on. There you go. Okay, thank you. I'm just listening. Is there? In the, yeah, I, I just joined, so... Oh, okay. Uh, did you want to go back to the crowd? You got your mic muted. Do you want to go back to the crowd? I mean, what was uh, what was the topic? Were were you discussing something? Or... Can I go ahead and say something? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and say something. I don't, maybe she got confused. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go mm -hmm. ahead, sir. Yeah, I hear you. R Rocky, go ahead. Rocky, can you hear me? All right. Go ahead, y'all. My bad. I don't know what's going on. All right, uh, Ricky. Yeah. All right, go ahead. My bad. Y'all go ahead. So, like I was saying, like that that black sun, it it, it either is the sun or is the moon. The moon makes the eclipse. I never seen the moon shift into uh the sun direct light. As soon as I look, I mean, I look with the naked eye at the sun. I never seen the moon. Yeah, I never normally, seen it either. Normally, I could uh, see the moon in the daytime, but it, on this particular day, 
they was like the moon already. Hey, can I say something? My yeah. bad. Yeah, can, can, we can hear you. Go ahead. Rocky, go ahead. Okay, Rocky, this is your last time, man. I ain't going to let you back up next time. All right, go ahead, man. I don't know. You, I can't hear you, Rocky. You keep interrupting. All right, go ahead. My fault, bro. So the moon, the uh, the black sun or the moon was not that far from the sun in order to, to, to make the eclipse. That That's all I'm saying. It, it, the moon never, I mean, I never seen the moon shift like period i never seen it coming toward the sun but or, you just made a good point there's yeah. there's times during the daytime where the sun is about to set and you already see the moon in the daytime so the moon ain't exactly. invisible and, and and the moon couldn't be invisible if it was covering the sun the sun would have shine through it so we all know what the moon looks like and we all know what the sun looks like exactly. so why is everybody yeah. pretending like all of a sudden today's the day we needed glasses to see the moon exactly, exactly. Yeah. In the daytime, <laughs> come on, man! It's freaking crazy. <laughs> but everybody believing it. They're like, "No, you you needed the glasses, right? You needed to have the glasses. No, you don't. To, yeah, you did. Okay, I take that back. Yes, you did need the glasses for what they had in front of the sun, or for whatever that was. You don't need the mm -hmm. for the naked eye. You don't need glasses to see the moon. That's just let's just call a spade a spade. We see 100%. the moon every day. We've never needed special goggles or glasses. To see the moon, let alone an eclipse. We've seen eclipses in our lifetime. This is not the first eclipse. Okay. So why did we need special glasses all of a sudden to see an eclipse? Okay. Right. Now, now, now I got a theory. Now, uh, I I went back to uh what they said is if it's if it's if that black dot or whatever that was, or, or maybe it was a portal. They said they was going to either something was going to come out or we going to shoot something in it. What if they shot those rockets in it? And uh, that was a portal. I believe that that could be it. Hold on. I got somebody backstage. Let me see who this is. Yeah, the great. What's up? What's going on? What's going on? What's going um, on? Uh, nah, yesterday, I, I'm not sure if y'all know. But it had some type of a big spear next to the sun sucking up the uh like a plasma for from it. it. It was like through like I was I was just checking it out and they showed it. Some YouTubers were showing it. It actually was just sucking. It was big and round. It ain't had no clear picture, but you could tell it was big and round. And it just sucked it and it just sped off. Now I, I really do not believe that what we seen in front of the sun was actually the moon because it didn't make no sense because for for the moon to be that big and it casting the shadow i mean half of the state half of the uh country would have been able to see that one big ass one big ass glob of, of, of space black 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 night whatever it don't make no sense to me and then on top of that earlier today i wasn't even outside i'm laying down i'm, I'm, I'm watching your show i'm like damn man i got a headache like a motherfucker like i like the headache was just Thumping, then I say as soon as the uh, eclipse was over, this shit was gone. It was back in the end, and then the uh, the weather went cool, straight cool. It was all cool, and I'm in Florida. Now mind you, it was supposed to be hot, so I go outside like, damn, it feel cooler than the motherfucker. And the sun just just beaming hot, but it was cool at the same time. That's, That's what I wanted to say. All right, but yeah, no nah, man, none of this shit made sense if you pay attention to it, man. None of the shit made sense. Is that your is that your phone, Ricky? Who phone is? It? Let me see. Is that uh no, that's is that Kenji? Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, that was your shit, Kenji. Oh, you got I, like an echo or something. Oh, oh my bad, man. I just want to say one thing and I'm out because you keep saying uh I just uh I just had a download. So how you keep saying, man, yo, that ain't the cliff, that wasn't what it is. How many people that just got woken up behind this and how many people got rocked back asleep? Think about that. Whoever wore them glasses with them glasses. Hmm. But they they are they're doing a recall on them glasses uh, too, right? So what what was what did they make them glasses out? When you look up at that uh, sun, look up at that clip that had an effect that's gonna have effect on their brain or their mental or their psyche now. Nah, that's facts because they gave you the glasses that were supposed to protect, and then now that everybody's watched the eclipse, now they're saying, "Oh my bad, y'all. Those wouldn't even." 
those are the wrong serial numbers. That that those glasses were never. Now it's gonna be a recall on the glasses. Now they're gonna be like, if you saw the sun and you start experiencing things like death, call us. It's like, okay, come on. That's there you, you yeah, but but that's the um, but that's you gotta understand that they play though. That's how they move though. You know what I'm saying? You gotta stay woke. Yeah, yeah, stay woke. But but like I said, they said they were gonna shoot something into the portal. If uh CERN was gonna shoot something into a portal, what what if that that black ball, whatever that was in front of the sun was a portal? And uh they they shot the rockets into it. Cause them rockets gotta go somewhere. I don't know where it went. Yeah, they never said where they went. Into that nope. portal. They said they were gonna shoot something in it and something's supposed to come out. Hey, they trying to get off the planet, man. Think they about tried it. to get off this planet. If, uh, if, I don't if, know what if people doing. say if, if it was three suns, right? Think about this. If it's three suns, how much radiations, UVA, UVC radiation, how much radiation, how much heat gonna be on this planet, man? You gotta understand it, bro. The ship is getting ready to get a hot summer. Anonymous, what's good? <laughs> hey, yo. Peace and blessings, y'all. What's good? So yeah, um, so I was looking at the eclipse too, right? And sorry, I'm talking kind of low because my parents are sleeping right now. But I was looking at the eclipse. I was outside at least two hours before the eclipse. And I was looking at it. And I was like, yo, there ain't no moon here. <laughs> I looked at everybody. I looked everywhere. I even took videos and all that. I was like, there ain't no moon here. And then I go outside about like an hour before the eclipse. And I'm just sitting there. And I see at least 12 planes, one after each mm -hmm. other, going around the sky. And I'm like, this ain't normal. 30 to 45 minutes like after that, the whole sky was covered. I'm like, that ain't normal. Those ain't clouds, chemtrails. Yep. So I look at the sun, right? I can't tell if there's a moon going in front of it because I can't see shit. <laughs> so I'm like, yo, this ain't normal. This nah, ain't you're normal. right. What they did was they sent planes everywhere with no destination. I started seeing them. I remember if y'all was watching my live earlier, I kept saying planes was going around. And you kept hearing planes right before shit popped off. Like yep. planes just kept going all around. And I'm like, I seen two right above me, but you could hear some in other places. And I was like, what is all these? And then all of a sudden, all the clouds start forming around the sun. Yep. Then when they said it happened, you couldn't see the sun because there were so many clouds over it. Yep. But they did this on purpose. They strategically made chemtrails all across the world. So if you look at everybody's footage, there's a common denominator, the clouds, clouds. in every single footage. Mm -hmm. But they and, don't and even it, look like clouds. They look like yeah, they, those weren't clouds. Those were trails. Yeah, it's a mist. Supposed to be clouds. It's just misty clouds. Those aren't clouds. Because I was looking at the sky, and as I'm live, you start seeing clouds. Then they started forming weird and moving in different places. Then all of a sudden, mm -hmm. the clouds stopped moving. I was like, hold on. I've seen clouds since I was a kid. Clouds move. They circle and they orbit like the earth, kind of. You know, if you look at a cloud long enough, you'll start seeing them move. But I was looking at these clouds and they were not moving. And they, they were just shape. sitting still. They got then, a shape. This one was like a veil. Exactly, yeah. yeah. It's like, no, nah, honestly, I don't trust these people no more. Mm -mm. <laughs> nah, man, you, you should never trust them. Mm -mm. Da, 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 backstage was good. Man, it was so red. It was good. Man, let me tell you what I'm saying, man. What's up, man? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. Say, man, what I seen, say, when earlier before the eclipse, it was like it was like planes flying around. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking that's like a, something to get your mind off of from what happened during the eclipse when it got total dark. Some came up out that black hole. Nothing, nothing shot by it or started before it or nothing. But something was at the bottom of the eclipse that came out that motherfucker. We better call those a destinless plane, bro. We've got no destination planes, bro. They just keep flying until they reach the end, bro. That's crazy, man. Something going on. Somebody backstage. Hold on. Let me see who this is. Give me one second. Code, what's up? Yo. What's good? Unmute your mic, Code. Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. All right, man. I just uh, so I was I was scrolling through YouTube and I just seen this on live. I thought I'd call in. Um, 
So yeah, I'm calling in from Texas and uh, I got a bunch of information I actually want to share with y'all. So just right off the bat, the moon in my interpretation is being phased out, literally. The black hole sun is rising. And uh, someone earlier said the uh, about the black hole sun coming from the Bermuda Triangle, that's right on the money. Uh, also, this whole, just a little bit on another topic, Watch watch these weather events. They are going to increase like you would never believe. Uh, I personally believe Haiti Haiti is something that people be, should, should be keeping an eye on right now. Uh, I, I believe the original Atlantis is under Haiti. And I believe that's why the U.S. is trying so hard to get in there. But to get back on the topic about the eclipse, there's this just the whole thing with this thing today was just, I mean, come on. I mean, the, the, the whole like get the glasses we you know you need the glasses to look at it it just i, don't I looked know. at it with my i looked at it with my bare eyes and i was perfectly perfectly fine they're like nah just wait a few days you'll start going blind i'm like fuck no hell no yeah what's good just, uh, uh, Ebo? Ebo, what's good hey, hey what's going on can you hear me yeah i hear you go ahead Okay, yeah, yeah, I've been kind of distracted to this show, but um, I had a question. Did anybody mention that fake sun that um, China built? Oh, shit, mm. I forgot all about that. I forgot all about that. They did have a well, fake sun. Well, 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 I was sitting here thinking, you, you keep saying they're trying to escape something and go somewhere, or, or it, 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 you know, they were saying they were going to send something through there. What if they sent that fake sun through there and tried to hide it? And trying to either make, you know, and trying to terraform someplace else, or try, or maybe send it as a gift to different species who having problem with their sun. I have no idea, but I, I keep thinking about that fake sun. You know, yeah, what the hell yeah, ever you know, happened? Your, your Mastercard got like they like launched it. they launched it. It was in the air. They launched it in the sky. I'm sorry, y'all. Hold on, I got a couple people backstage. Give me a second. I don't know who these people are. Uh, Loaf, what's up, Loaf? Tall man, tall man, no tall man. Oh, what, 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 Right. I just googled it. I just googled it. And it's China made a sun and they lost it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ben, go ahead. Oh, no, no. I, I, I was just saying 100%. Like, I, I don't necessarily believe that China's trying to make a sun. Um, I, Thank you. They made a sun and launched it into the sky. Yeah, I seen it. I remember. I seen it. And there's a whole commercial where they made a, they, they put a dude up in the sky and he was changing the light bulb on the sun. <laughs> Eugene, what's good? What's good, man? It's it's a whole commercial about them That's going really up crazy. in the sky and they changing the light bulb for the sun. It's all bullshit, man. This this a Freemason yeah, talking. It's all BS. Man, man, yeah, man. take take it with a grain of salt for sure. <laughs> for sure, man. I'll have a big label called "Made in China" real soon. Just watch. <laughs> what's good, Corbin? <laughs> Corbin, what's hey, how's good? It going? All right, what's going on? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. Cool. So yeah, um, I live in here. I didn't hear you. You said you live. Go ahead, Corbin. I can't hear you. You still there, Corbin? Okay, I don't know what happened to Corbin. I think I lost Corbin. I think he lost his connection. All right, code. Go ahead. Oh, my bad. Oh, oh you got yeah, something to say, Ben? Um... I was just kind of getting back. Um, I can't remember who was saying, but t talking about like the rocket launches and everything, I I'll just say one thing with anything that's being launched from NASA, take that with a grain of salt for sure, because that shit just gets shot right into the Bermuda Triangle, I guess you could say. I mean, everything, if you look at it, for, it, it all goes into an arc. It looks like a, basically like a rainbow. I mean, if you run like a, a video on it, It'll, it'll literally show a, an arc, and it goes right into the ocean. There's actually retrieval squads that go out there and will literally pick up the rocket pod from the ocean and then bring it back. I mean, just 
just take anything from NASA with a grain of salt. That's never a straight answer in ASA. Damn. Now, peep this. Now, peep this. How many years did they tell us that the sun and the moon was 80, 90 plus million miles away? We all familiar with hearing that. So if they're 80 plus 90 plus million miles away, how are you firing rockets at them? Facts. I mean, fam. Yeah. <laughs> like they, they tell them on they was fake. I think that was just fake. to throw us off to, for something to they, come out. They tell it on themselves <laughs> because they're 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 telling on themselves because the show is ending. The show is ending, y'all. I'm telling you, it's it's as the year goes on, just watch the weather, watch the animals, watch nature, keep your eyes there. You will see the shift. It's not just going to come in a snap of a hand. Watch the animals. Watch the weather. I'm telling you, the, these people, these, 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 the evil people that run this planet's time is over. It's over. They're trying to slow it down as much as they can, but it's 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 over. All we got to do is just everybody stay doing the right thing. That's all you got to do. We'll be salute, fine. Salute. Very true. Go go ahead, Grumpy. <clears throat> hey, what up, the neighborhood good. Grumpy in the building? What's good? Go ahead. Hey man, I you know I've been praying a lot about it, studying a lot about this man, and um, you know, a lot of what they do is uh, they do distractions. Yes. Sir. Um, if you notice, if you notice, most of where that so-called eclipse went was over cities called Nineveh. Now, if you read that in the in the book of Jonah. Because I was directed to the book of Jonah. Well, it gave people a time period to, you know, basically repent, you know. Uh, so normally in April, that's this ain't normally when they do things. Normally when they do things is on April uh, 20th, April 21st. Uh, when spring start, that's some some of the highest satanic holidays and, and things like that. So I, I believe that all this hoopla is meant to distract from um, distract from what they're actually really preparing to do. Um, and that's my personal, you know, just just after studying a lot, that's my personal opinion. Salute to you, brother. Hold, hold up, Fernand, you there, Fernand? Oh, he just okay, anonymous. You there? Hey, yo, my bad. I'm back. <clears throat> All right, cool. So y'all was talking about those satellites, right? Yeah. Well, you know that weather balloon that entered the U.S. I'm in Canada, by the way, but I, I heard about y'all's balloon, apparently crafted by China, and how it entered y'all atmosphere. Well, they've been recovering a lot of those around the world, and they had, guess what, satellites on them. And uh, there was a theory by the Flat Earthers that basically satellites were not in outer space. They were just balloons hanging off of the firmament yeah. and all that. Very true. And when I seen that they were falling down to that later on, the areas in which those were recovered, you can search it up yourself. It'll pop up somewhere. Uh, but those were restricted. So I was like, you know, I wasn't much of a Flat Earther to start with. I'm still trying to discover. I'm not too sure. But like that that weather balloon, that was not some weather balloon by China fund. That was something else. And Fair. if you look up a uh, spaceship uh, symmetry, like it's going to be like in the ocean, you're going to see a bunch of like artifacts. And it's going to be at Point Nemo, the furthest point from l land in the world. And that's where you're going to find everything like so, that supposedly is let me let me ask y'all something let me shift the conversation a little bit so i was talking about something earlier about the entry and exit points of the earth right and that's going to be the north and the south pole you mean you mean portals you mean portals well yeah portals because if you if you know like i know there are portals in this world and bermuda triangle has portals we we, we know that and the North Pole and the South Pole also have entry points into the Earth, which will be portals, allegedly. So what do y'all think about that? Because those are no-fly zones. What is going on in Antarctica? Nobody can cover Antarctica because nobody is allowed to really go. Let me, 
Have you heard? Let Admiral me say Byrd? this: the guy, the guy who went Admiral. I was just about to say the guy Admiral Bird, who went down there. Let's talk about him for a second. Now, this guy was a chief, a very high mason. In fact, he started the Order of the Penguin. You can look it up. He started the Order of the Penguin. He was not literally an admiral, admiral in the sense of what you think of. He was an admiral uh, through the Masonic Order. And he started the Order of the Penguin. And in fact, when you go down there, if you are a part of the, his order, you get to see things that a lot of people don't get to see. Anybody who's out there, don't believe me. Just look it up. Look up the Order of the Penguin. OK, he's got a, a whole a whole order like uh, based out of out of New York. OK. And um, so Admiral Byrd was the guy who was tapped, I believe, tapped to go down there and get all the information which left all people out of that area um, based off his information. But because he saw so much, you know, most human beings, they can't hold their lips. So it's, it's not, you know, so he had to say something about what he saw. And uh, when he went past certain points like there was just so much that he saw plus not only that they got confronted uh with warfare and so that's why he had to kind of talk about this stuff so i'll just leave it at that so, so basically when admiral bird went down there sorry man, I, I don't mean to really cut you off with that but he went down there after World War II. That was because we were sending our Navy down there for what was called Operation Paperclip. And that was us basically going down there. And that's where Admiral Byrd went down there because he was going to supposedly Adolf Hitler had ran down to Antarctica um, from uh, South America down there. And basically he went down there and what he saw was, yeah, after going down there, he was met with supposedly UFOs and like all kinds of like gravity guns and shit, supposedly. Um, but later on, they started going down again and he was taking trips and he had said basically he saw animals and there was a continent past the ice wall, this and that. Um, yeah, and that's where he came back and said, hey, I'm surprised there's never been a land that's the size of Central America that hasn't been touched by man or whatever. Um, yeah, I 100% I agree with what you were saying there. Sorry, I totally lost my train of thought on that shit. <laughs> got you. Now you good, you good. Hold on, I got somebody backstage. Fernand, uh, unmute your mic, Fernand. Can you uh, go ahead? Yo, go what ahead. to do, Ratchet Gang? Go ahead. Oh, it's on me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, shout out about your gang. Um, I just wanted to add, Germany also has a son, and I believe we have one too. America, you know what I mean? So I, I keep on hearing y'all saying China, but Germany also has a son. And it's, it's, it's more sons out there. Yeah, I heard that's about that's all I wanted to say. Up in Texas, right? Salute, yeah. Fernand. Thank you. Yes, sir. Right, so yeah, there's a uh, there's a song there's a song there's a song hold out there. Hold on, hold on. There's hold a song hold out there. Hold on, hold, hold, on, hold on. on. Who who was that talking before he said something? Somebody was just saying something. No, I was finished. I was finished. No, no I, I was saying I was saying there's something you see it on the Mastercard, like you can see like two sons. Mm -hmm. What's good, oh, Ebo? That's a good point. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I, I just wanted to point out two things real quick. Uh, one thing, since they brought up um, Hitler and stuff, um, the thing about Hitler was, um, you know, the original Aryan race were aliens, and that's who he's supposed to have hooked up with. That's why he was down there. But the other part I wanted to bring up, I don't know if y'all touched on it, but um, with this eclipse and the last eclipse, it made an X, and at the center of that X. The town at the center of that X, the town was called the town was called Rapture. 
yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. I just wanted to tell you all that. You know what I'm saying? And um, what else? Um, the um, what was they say? Oh yeah, that 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 China son. They supposed to have launched it like six months ago or something. They launched it, and I never really heard nothing about it again. But I saw when they had made it pictures of it and everything, and they had launched it in the sky like six months ago. Nah, thanks. Okay, that's it. I'm up out of here. I'm out. Salute. What's good, Shay? Salute. I was just going to touch on the Operation Paperclip um, was one of the points. So basically where he lost his train of thought, it is so much land that we have never seen or they don't want us to know about because if you go back to the NWO, right, with the way that they're mm -hmm. trying to say we are um, overpopulated. It's, it's so much earth will never be overpopulated. I'm going to leave that there. And then as far as the path that the fake eclipse went through today. Um, a lot of the other little cities that we don't like, like they got the different names or whatever, they are all biblical names. One of them was named something of like Little Italy or whatever, but it wasn't exactly Little Italy, but whatever the name was, it was little in the town. It was a town like that. And the biblical name for that town is Jerusalem. So it's like all of this stuff is kind of biblical, right? Even down to what they're doing with the CERN. Um, they know the Bible or the, and I'm not going to say the Bible, but they know religion, let me put it that way, um, or spirituality a lot, right? And the knowledge that they know. Was it, that was they it Little see. Egypt? It was it Little Egypt? Yes, Little Egypt. Oh. There we go. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's so um much so like how they take books out of different religions, right? They know these things. Like just now, um Putin just they he's showing who the Messiah is, right? To the masses, right? Um, so they know, and so they're like you said earlier, they're trying to play God or the most high, they know certain things that we don't necessarily know, but we're waking up to it. We're getting the information. People like you, Wretched, is getting the information out there. So thank you for that. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it was a lot. I saw a lot. I um, My mom was here. My dad was here. We was in the backyard. Um, I saw something that was scary. I wasn't afraid, but it was scary. Like I looked at it with my naked eye, and I looked at it with my own sunglasses. I didn't have a, them ones, the them three D glasses they was giving out from the movies. I had them. <laughs> but anyway, um, at one portion of looking at it, the sun was like a neon color, and then like it was colors around it. But then it was like I looked up, and I promise, no cat. It was like hell had opened up. Like it looked like it was. Fire, not the sun, forget the sun for, for a minute, but around the sun, it looked at like what we would imagine hell would look like. It would, and every time you looked at it, and I looked at it with my naked eyes so much, so I'm still seeing it when my eyes are closed. Um, it's just a lot, y'all. It was a lot going on today, but thank you, Ratchet, for covering it because um, I watched it with you. So I saw that, and then when you ended, that's when I started looking at it for myself in my backyard. But yeah, it was a lot going on. Um, the weather, the the coolness did start here in Ohio. As soon as we seen our first little jet thing go across, that's that's when it got cool. Then it looked like it busted you and came right out of the sun going in the other direction to start another trail going away from the sun. And again, it was hot, cold, hot, cold or whatever. And, and now in this very moment, it's colder here now, but for the next three days, it's about to be like in the 60s, like high 60s and 70s, and it's been like in the 30s and 40s here. So they up to something. I just don't know what. Yeah, they definitely are. But you know, I'm on top of I it. I think what they, I think what they up to is, uh, say is, so it's just like when they did that 2YK thing, and they had everybody up in arms, like, oh man, you. You know, your phones ain't going to work. Your computer ain't going to work. Meanwhile, they was gearing up for a, a, a big human sacrifice, you know. That's what they into. They really allegedly, into. Allegedly. 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 
you know, allegedly. That's, I mean, but I mean, when you think about it, like if you just follow the history, when they play things up and then what follows, it's always just like, okay, they, they, they tell you, okay, this going to happen, that going to happen, and so on and so forth. And then out of nowhere, there's a lot of human lives lost. And, uh, you know, so that's what I'm praying for. I'm just praying that everybody is keeping themselves safe, prayed up, making sure that they studying, you know, minding their own business. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And uh, and that's that, you know. What's good, uh, Romel? Hey, how you doing, man? I was just uh, I was just listening. It's my first time I just uh, seen your show, and I was just in the background. But you know, the crazy thing is about these uh, eclipses. You know what I'm saying? With these eclipses. Uh, Dr. Malachi Z. York, you know what I'm saying, uh, broke this stuff down about, you know, for, for decades now. But they, you ain't, we keep thinking the eclipse, like, you know, the moon and the sun and all that's lining up. The moon has never, uh, anytime you ever seen the eclipse, that was never a moon. You know what I'm saying? The, what you got is a hologram. Is a hologram. You know what I'm saying? On the dark side of a on, on one side of the rock. Cause actually the, the moon that was a uh, uh cut off, broke off from uh the Grand Canyon area area was actually towed up there in the in the universe. This is be this is before the uh the fermented dome was created. But when um and, and then the that that rock itself doesn't even rotate at 360 degrees. So if it doesn't even do a 360, how in the world is it going to line up with what they call so-called Earth? It doesn't even make any sense when you look at it like that. So all you got is a light, a hologram projection that's only showing you uh, uh, the uh, projection. However, they got it, the camera set up is projecting to show the uh, the Earth. Because if you really look at the, the moon, you know what I'm saying, you can see the continents on there if you uh if you look at the hologram so and then that hologram has been disappeared it's been gone since two days ago normally when you see a new moon you can see a uh the edge the edges around it mm -hmm. in the sky you can see that and me and my mans we was looking two days ago we was like yo the the edge of that was gone you see you you see what you see what i'm saying so it can it and that's why they throwing the, the stuff in the air because they don't really they don't want you to see the lies that they've been trying to cover up for so long. You know, they put your glasses on, do all of these other things. The, the okie doke, the bait and switch, the 52 fake out is what they doing. So, you know, I just wanted to drop some light on on that. And I might have something else, but I just lost my train of thought. Salute, salute. Hold on. Let me see who this is backstage. Britt, what's up, Britt? How you doing? I'm good. I'm, How you doing? Uh, I'm new to the thing i just happened to press the live and then i saw cern and i thought wow this is this is one heck of a conversation oh, i God. i just i just came into it um i don't know what y'all um views on cern is um but from the research that i've done demonic. Um, very demonic. very demonic yeah, that's yes. the only word i could choose demonic <laughs> 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 facts, 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 and I, I'm so glad this conversation because this is the only place I see the conversation happening. It's like, wow, that that eclipse there was more that that wasn't that wasn't what we thought it was. You know, that was that was something that they were doing. I think it was uh, the World Economic Forum uh, covering the sun like they said they wanted to do. Mm -hmm. uh, remember how they told us that they wanted it and people rejected it. And uh, they was like, well, I don't care what the people think anymore because, you know, they, they feel we're all slaves anyway So, to them. So we must bow to them mm -hmm. anyway. We all the, the dumb ones. They're the smart ones here. And I felt that that's exactly what they were doing. That was a test. It didn't look like a, a regular eclipse. It didn't like like the, the sister was saying before it looked at odd. It really did. So it was like something was you know you know at miss but um i just wanted to know 
Um, do y'all also cover the things that's also happened with the red heifers in Jerusalem? Yeah, I, I, I did cover that today. I covered that today. Okay. Okay. I need to subscribe to you because I mean, I literally just put live and just happened to see your channel. It was. Yeah, you might want to. What I do suggest is that you watch this back from the beginning because there was a lot of information in this video that you probably are aware of, or you probably not. But like, right. I went out there today. I, mean, I don't know if you caught the live I did earlier today. I'm in the Dallas, Texas area, Dallas, Fort Worth area. And I went out there and everybody in Dallas saw darkness and they said they saw it. I'm 30 minutes away. I didn't see shit. I had it on live. You could see the sun. You didn't see no moon. It was all a facade. It was yeah. basically they just this was the center of a distraction, in my opinion. Uh -huh. I believe they energy harvested the entire world today. I think the entire world was looking up at the biggest. I energy agree world. with you 1000%. Now, listen to this. What is the biggest energy source in the world? The sun. The sun. The sun is the biggest. That's where you get your energy from. So, all the energy we have, it comes from the sun. So, if everybody is looking up into one thing, you're harvesting everyone's energy. That's the overplay. Hey, hold on, um, Grumpy, hold on. That's the overplay for the underplay. Meanwhile, <laughs> while you're all looking up at one thing and everybody is tuned in, the whole world is tuned into this. We got right. y'all. Oh, we got y'all. We got every one of y'all. Can I say now, something? Now you now you usher in the NWO. And the spiritual warfare, the spirits mm -hmm. just been unleashed amongst earth. The deities have been unleashed. The evils have been unleashed. Everything mm -hmm. is here. So everything we've been talking about, it's been it's been in the spiritual form, but now it's here on earth. It's all been opened up. The gates have been opened. The portals have been opened. Now it's time. You got 40 days from today to get right. I ain't saying this over in 40 days, but what I am right. saying is he's going to take note of who the fuck is paying attention right now. Right. If you wasn't one of those people. Mm -hmm. Hey, I feel sorry for you in the end. That's all I can say. Right. Can, right, right, can I uh, right. chime in on something about that? Go ahead. Now, now I agree, but when I look at the the books, I mean, I'm not a religious dude, so you know what I'm saying? Uh, I just see the Bible and the Quran, the Quran, Quran, whatever you want to call it. I just see them as Masonic playbooks because our ancestors never created, created a religion for us to use we 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 created religion to teach the uh the grafted beings how to civilize this is why in their their indenture the constitution it said it shall be no religious test you see what i'm saying so when people are reading these so-called books i'm not saying personification just helps a child learn easier but it was never about whether this arm leg leg arm head existed it was all astrology astronomy and astrology so we have to take it um like that and then we we we're given the we're given the energy uh to these people like they can like they can do all of these type of things they they they, they did not create the firmament they did not create this sim simulation only thing they, they they are is they have an allegiance to these uh fallen angels what they call uh, you know uh uh uh, uh your disagreeable your chair your cherubim and your seraphim so they they agreed to to worship uh mola they agreed to worship yahweh they agreed to worship allah you know what i'm saying we, mm -hmm. we we don't understand the whole the whole leviathan which means ghost spirit a ghost spell so when when i read these books i don't read these books to sit there and pray or beg to anything because i understand that you know i i you know what i'm saying ye are gods so that's all i need to need read when that scripture if i'm if i'm god i'm not saying that i'm the most high but but we got it we we, we we we're not overstanding what the most high does the most high is in a ship in the room and his job he had to fight his 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 brother to get to, to to take the throne, which is a spaceship. So his job is to go in between Ilium and the 18th galaxy. He doesn't have time to sit there and watch everybody because he's within the he's within the all, and the all is in all. 
So we're looking for worship and everything. We're looking at Anu as if we got to worship and praise him instead of looking at him as if he's our grandfather. We, we, our whole perception know, hold, is distorted. Hold on, 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 wait, 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 wait. Go ahead, uh, Britt. I don't know if I can agree with the brother here, but I do agree with the host and uh, spiritually um, being hoax. This, this, this whole thing is a spiritual thing. And um, I do highly agree with that because in San Antonio here, um, I'm where I was, it was completely clouded. So you couldn't even see anything other than it was getting dark, but you really couldn't see an eclipse. Mm -hmm. But my sister went like 10 minutes out to go to her college and there was no clouds there <laughs> and she was able to see the eclipse. So it was like for me, it's like this is this is this is some some sacrificial. This is some uh, spiritual here. This is some deep. And hey, you, you hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, Echo. What's good? Hey, hey, how's how's everybody doing tonight? All right, go ahead. Good, good, good. Um, I I heard you saying something about Hello. um it being a hoax, and um you were in Dallas and half an hour away from, and it was still light. Something something to that effect. Um. I sat in, in, in the belts here in Brantford in Ontario, and we were supposed to have darkness. We were supposed to have a full, total eclipse. Everybody around me, screaming and yelling, woo, woo, got all excited. I got three fucking cameras, pardon my language. I got three cameras going. I'm sitting in the sunshine. It didn't get dark for me. It got dark <laughs> for the idiots that were standing around me, but it didn't get dark for me. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what the hell this is. I'm, I'm sitting, literally on live on the YouTube going, I'm so disappointed. Where the hell is this eclipse? What's going on? And then everybody behind me is like, hey, woo, look at that, look at that. I'm like, what the hell's going on? Yeah, there's Did you have them glasses? Pardon me? <laughs> Did you have them glasses? No, no, I didn't I didn't use I didn't use they any glasses. Yeah, them, them diamond glasses. Everybody, they, they're like, hey, ratchet. And I'm on live. Look, I'm in Dallas. I'm in the Dallas area. Let me just say that. And the people in Dallas are saying, Ratchet, you got it all wrong. You need the glass. I'm like, Stop the bullshit, y'all. We're in the we're looking at the same shit in the sky. I sh if you could see something with glasses I on, I should see it with glasses off. It's the fucking sun. Let's just stop playing with each other. We're, we're all looking at the same sky, and that's the point I want everybody to understand. We're looking up at the same thing. This is a facade, and then we that's got a different why, result. And that's why I gotta ask. Like it seems like the more things go on, are we living in a simulation? We must be living in some kind of simulation. No, I don't think it's a no, mind twisted. Yo, yo, I'm I, telling you, everything that you think that you know is not what you a, think you know. Did y'all did y'all know this? I don't I think it's prophesized things that you were already told that that was going to happen, and it's going to get worse from here on out. It's not going to okay. Okay, I agree. I agree with that. I agree with that. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. So if we're not then answer me this. How is there no answer for any other life form other than us? And, and when I say that, think about this. There's books that we all supposed to go to. None of them mention dinosaurs. None of them mention aliens. None of them mention any other life form. Other than well, they do. They do have, mention. Have they you, do mention dinosaurs. The, the let me. Let me just. Let me no, say this real quick. No. 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 Let, Show let me say this real quick. Just let me say this real quick. They do. Dinosaur wasn't. That word wasn't invented. Invented until the late 1800s. But, but they used to the call them. That's my it, point. That's, it, my, that's, that's my exactly. That's my point. It, 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 exactly. Let Let me Let me land. Let me land my plane. I I'll, I'll finish. I land my plane. Let me land my plane. So a lot of things that were observed by a lot of people in um, in in history were named different things. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the guys, one of the guys had mentioned the word dra uh, Leviathan. Uh, dragon is one of them. I mean, these are these are things that people have mentioned throughout history that are common are common or modern par parlance is not accustomed to understanding what they were talking about right 
So that's like the letter so, J. That's just like the letter, like the letter J. J. Just mm-hmm. like just like the letter J. And that's what I wanted to talk about. And Shay, you had mentioned earlier, you talked about the sun, China and all these people. I was trying to mention that. Oh, I, I forget the, the name of the rock, man. But they had that song called Black Old Sun, Won't You Come, Won't You Come. What were they talking about? <laughs> they were talking about this this ability to bring this energy through, like you talked about, the these portals. Mm-hmm. The, um, and, and so what, what, what I think what was happening was when they were getting people to look up into the sky, millions of people to look up into the sky today they were they were they were drawing energy from people's expectations because that was that was that was yeah yeah they were they were harvesting they were they were harvesting people's expectations so that they can use it for a later date because normally they do it on uh, April 20th or April 21st. That's normally when they do it. And, and I, I mean, I mean, I've been, st- I've been studying this thing for about like a week now, mm-hmm. you know, and that's, that's what I, they I, do. I, I totally agree with you. But if you say like you, 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 like you mentioned, yeah, dragons was used. I mean, not dinosaur, but dragon, you know, it, it, you can take it from that or, if you want to look at a book, you can go to the, the book of the Nephilim. And that explained to you that that was not human at all that you, they were dealing with. So, you know, th- they did explain a lot of this stuff. It just, it was worded different. Like the, the, the brother said up there, it was worded so much different than what we would call it today. But it was still told. And right. again. That's why I said before that they know things that we that we're not pre privy to mm-hmm. knowing that they've been new, and it's books from <clears throat> a long time ago mm-hmm. that was written right that was saying all of these things, and I'm not talking about biblical wise or religion wise mm-hmm. that hints on everything that's going on now because. They already knew they was yeah. planning this. That like the predictions with the Simpsons. It's not, oh, they just predicting it and da da da. No, this is what they want to come. Just like them one cards. Um, Thanks. um, what was it? The the Illuminati cards or whatever. Mm-hmm. Every one of those cards means something, and a lot of them cards has happened and will happen sooner or later. What's good, Ebo? Hey, what's up? What's up? Yeah, I got it's called you. it's called pre, it's called predictive programming. It's called predictive oh, programming. Hold on. You had oh, a four a Peniel, can you hear me, Peniel? Unmute your mic, Peniel. Yes, sir. All right, wait one second, Ebo. Go ahead and get your shit off real quick, Ebo. Go ahead. I was gonna say I got something for you. You know what I'm saying? Remember this? Looking at the sun don't pay. Criminal mind all the time. Wait for judgment day. Remember that one? Who was that? I was Tupac. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was Tupac. He told it all. You know what I'm saying? I remember when they was trying to get me to join them a long time ago. They told me, you know what I'm saying? The way you sell your soul is you stare at the sun. You look at the sun for about 30 minutes. Then when you go in the house, you'll start seeing all the little spots and stuff. But these spots are life forms. You know what I'm saying? They'll They'll follow you home. It's what they told me. And I remember that part that Tupac said. So I just wanted to point that out, you know? Salute. Salute. He ain't lying because um, I'm still seeing him with my go eyes ahead. closed. But go ahead, Pino. Me. Yeah, I mean, y'all are y'all are all over the place, uh, just like I uh, am when I'm getting to this type of information and research. And uh, yeah, you hit a lot of good points. And uh, yeah, preemptive programming—I I, I call it preemptive because it's not really so much of a predictive nature, right? They're not—it's not that they're out here like Edgar Casey predicting. No, nah, they're they're putting the plans in motion. And they're preempting the public to to their plans, or you know what's to come, or what they have. Bingo. You know, so yeah, pre. Let's keep it at pre-programming. You know, they're pre-programming you what's to come. Not really so much predicting. Yeah, that, anything. that's a better. That's a better way to state it. Yeah, it's not mm-hmm. predictive. It's just pre-programming. Yeah, I agree. Right. I right. agree too. I, agree. Uh, I, I, agree. I I would like to say this, and I'm I'm uh, thank y'all. I love this conversation. I'm gonna subscribe to you. This is the first time I've ever seen you, you're live or anything like that. I will 
be uh, rewinding it back if, if there's any chance and looking at other videos that you have. I really appreciate it. Thank you, panel, and thank y'all for having me. Salute to you. I appreciate you for being a subscriber. Hey, salute. 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 Grace, Have mercy, and peace to you. God bless you. Pray up. Yeah, you got to free let's... yourself to be yourself. All right, so let's <laughs> do it like this. Hold on. I got somebody calling in. Scott, what's good? Hey, what's going on, buddy? Hey, go ahead, um, go ahead my brother. Hey, man. Uh, I heard somebody mention something about a town named Little Egypt. Uh, I'm a truck driver, and uh, actually, that town's called Cairo, but we nicknamed it Little Egypt. And, uh, okay. And uh, oh, Cairo, they're... Cairo, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let us see. Go ahead. Yeah, I've been through there many times, and uh, I've been following YouTube for years. And uh, somebody said something about the town called Rapture. And uh, yep, I was also reading some stuff. I've been doing some studying on the. You do a bit. Pull it down. And uh, YouTube, and uh, you know, on YouTube and everything about the red heifers and all. Mm -hmm. uh, does anybody know anything about uh, they were supposed to be moving three giants out of southern Illinois? I, did somewhere around this. I read that on YouTube, and I just wondered if that was something uh, that they may have done, you know, because I looked at the glasses and looked up at it. I just got like two minutes glimpse of it because it was so cloudy here. I live in East, East Tennessee. And uh, that was not no damn moon, y'all. That no, was black. That was yep. black. It was. Black. And I only got to see it for like a minute and a half. And then it went away, and then the clouds covered it up. And it was a partial eclipse is all I seen. And it was something going in front of the sun. And uh, they said Knoxville got 90% viewing. I live just a little bit south of Knoxville. We had like 89% viewing. And I didn't see shit, y'all, except for one exactly. half moon. A partial, yeah. uh, partial deal, and that was not no damn moon. I don't give a damn what they say. It was something black and round. Exactly. And it, yeah. it wasn't no moon. It wasn't no moon. The skies is clear over here, brother. So I, I agree uh, with you. I'm in Reno, Nevada. So it ain't no. It wasn't no clouds. I'm up in the mountains. Hey, I was so, sitting out about noontime. And uh, I know that one guy said something about it got real hot. I could feel the heat off on my arms. That sun got so damn hot. And I looked up at it, and that was not no damn sun. If it was, it was, off, it was like two suns or something. It was mm -hmm. big, like egg-shaped or some shit, you know. You know, the sun be round, right? This shit was oblong. Mm -hmm. so I don't know. Yeah, we might hey thug, thug, we might need to revisit Maui, man. Hold on one second. Somebody got a uh is that you? All right, talk again. I said uh, thug, we might need to revisit Maui. Is that hold on? Maybe there's you that got that damn. I don't know. Some, somebody got it. No, it ain't me. Somebody got their thing on. What's good? Uh I think that's Oh, yeah, that's you, Scott. You got an echo. If you're not talking, I'm just going to mute you for one second, Scott. Give me one second. Uh, La, what's good, La? Unmute your mic. Unmute your mic, La. Tol Tolman. 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 Unmute your mic. All right. Pack it up. Ebo, go ahead. Ebo. All right, Ebo. I'll pack it up. Uh, go ahead, Anonymous. Hey, oh, my bad. I know it's getting late. I don't know what time it is right now, <laughs> but it's 12 over here. But uh, for that brother who said about the ye are gods, I um, I looked at the original translation because I always go back to like Hebrew books to make sure. And they refer to it as Elohim. And we see that that name has been used to describe humans, God, and other people in the Bible in the Ancient Testament. But what we see here, I off of Google, I'll read this, it says the word used in the passage is Elohim, which is usually translated as God. In Genesis, it is one of mm -hmm. the words to denote the true God. In other places, however, it is properly translated as judges, referring to human as judges. So exactly. You hit it on the money. Exactly. You so read the whole thing. Of the Psalms verse 80. translated oh, as ye let are finish. judges. So um, that would fit with the scripture uh, which if I pull out the whole, um, I think it was by Solomon anyways, uh, 
here if I pull up with the whole verse, sorry, Psalm 82 to 6. So it says, Ye are gods. Um, if I can actually come up with the whole scripture, my bad, kind of lagging here. But I like to read to the whole passage because I don't like to pick point just certain verses just to fit something. It says, Okay, so the gods not, know nothing, they understand nothing, they walk about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. I said, you are gods, you are all, all the son of the most high, but you mm -hmm. will die like mortals, you will fall like every other ruler. See, we see the, the word ruler over here. So it makes sense that the word judge would be used in this context. And then it says, it, oh, rise up, oh God, judge the earth for all the nations of your inheritance. It, 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 and, and, and that's what I was saying. With, with, I didn't even get to expound on that. But when you, I'm glad that you brought it up because in 82, it told you what the gods were supposed to do. And it was Elohim. But if you go earlier than that, Dr. Malachi Z. What York was never a lie. It's really Elohim. You know what I'm saying? Or, or the, uh, you know what I'm saying? Where they switched it from a, from a to an E, you know, when you got the Alif. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But when, but the, the, I told people the, the the Bible is 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 really a a, mace, a messianic a Freemason a playbook. You know what I'm saying? It's a playbook, and and it is dealing with government. Because if you read anywhere in the Old Testament, uh, uh, it was well, people on, that was in rulers. Really and, and Janet, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta. Um, anywhere in the Old on, Testament. Let me you real quick. Janet, mute your live in the background. There you. Go. I don't know what's going on with your live in the background. Yeah. So Jan hold on one you, second. Janet, yeah. unmute your mic. Unmute your mic, Janet. Janet, unmute your mic. Okay, Tolman, what's good? What's good, Ratchet? What's good? What's good, what's good Ratchet? Hey, what's good? I was trying to um tap in and talk about how you was how you I know how you been um that telling us about the whole Diddy situation and shit, and it's not even about the Diddy's part. It's about the big, uh, the music, the music, the music on um, here, the the leaders of the, you know, of the world type shit. I think all this shit has a ties into that because the CERN, the CERN shit is how you say it, it's all demonic. You feel me? So it's like these people are running the world, so they got everybody thinking to look up into the sky, but the CERN machine shit is underground. You feel me? And if they're so called a firmament. And that these satellites are so-called within Earth inside the firmament, we should be looking underground for what's really what, what's really going on. You feel me? But you got a lot of echo in your my, back. My right I'm at work. I'm at work. I was just trying to tap in, but go ahead, do your thing. All right, I got to let you go because there's a lot going on in there. Uh, go ahead and get your last words in, uh, Ramon, Ramil. Oh, no, no, no. What, what? Basically, I was saying is this. This whole thing, what, what the brother had uh, pointed out when he read read in eighty two, you are God, but children of the Most High, right? So, so we are children of the Most High, but we have a duty here on the earth, on the earth to 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 rule. And 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 the Aboriginal beings have fell out of their conscience. We lost the three degrees of knowledge, which your ancestors used that three 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 degrees of knowledge and gave it to uh, grafted beings. Um, to preserve to preserve that information, so that way, when the Aboriginal, because they knew what what rises has to fall, so and they understood astrology so so deep, you know what I'm saying? They actually sat down and wrote everything down when it came down to stars day and night. So they preserved three degrees of knowledge inside of the ones that really wanted to do it, which was the uh, mulatto beings and all that type of stuff. So that way, when their descendants wake back up. All they had to do was uh, learn the three degrees of knowledge. And then when they understand the three degrees of knowledge, which is legislative, judicial, and executive branch, and understand that, then it, the, the rest of the, the six degrees is already in the DNA. That's called the Akasha Records. So but we, but we, we, we uh, fell out of our consciousness to understanding who we are. You see what I'm saying? So we're looking for something outside of ourselves to save us when it's, it's just a battle of the uh, consciousness. So you have to raise your consciousness and your frequency because what you got right now is just a corporate system dealing with the dead. You know what I'm saying? And a group of people of consciousness coming together to control the minds 
of the people. That's so true. you have to turn okay. you you have to come back, you know what I'm saying, and 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 and, and cast your spell in writing right. into the right port. I'm talking right. Admiralty and Maritime, by the way. Right. But on. once you understand what, what when you break this, unlock this code, you know what I'm saying, what you'll realize is that if you understand the executive, judicial, and legislative branch, you understand that the ex the execute the ex the the executory is the ones who who does the restoration so everything that they're doing is 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 military but when you read the in revelations they 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 do things symbolically they they're not letting you know when you think a locust hey it can be creatures that's underneath the ground i get that but it also can describe military men you know so we're we're the the, the perception is everything about how we see things so i read things with an open mind but we got it I, I just recommend once you get the religious thing out of your mind and then see what these words really means when you're reading something, you know what I'm saying? I think our perception of, of, of what's really going on will heighten and you know what I'm saying? And your uh, vibrations will rise even that much more. All right, I, and I mean, that's all I had to say about that. I appreciate you, sir. And uh, tune in on the next one, man. I appreciate you for tapping in brother. I, I do appreciate you. Salute to Ramel, man. Man, I appreciate y'all, man. I just felt I just found you, bro. So I, I'm a, I'm locking in now, man. All Everything right, happens for a reason. Well, I go live every day, man. I'll see you tomorrow, brother. All right, God. All right, Peace to the God. Salute. Anonymous, what you got for me? Or no, my bad. Penio. Go ahead, Penio. Uh, you still there, Penio? Oh, you got me on mute. All right. Uh my bad. go ahead. Are you there, Penio? Yeah, my fault. Um right, yeah, he's on point with a lot of what he said. And and you know, as for the Admiralty Maritime topic you know what we saw with the bridge man it was a at some might say allegedly right it was a major major admiralty maritime ritual again it came the, the, the bridge collapse came exactly i mean you can fact check me exactly 111 years 11 months and 11 days after the titanic supposedly sank so what was the titanic about well what happened right after the titanic you had the fed fed came into power and so what are we going to see now after this? I think it's pretty obvious. You see what's going on with crypto. You see what's going on with the digital currency, the rise of social credit and all that. And um, yeah, I mean, that's just one example. That's just one numerical uh, example of uh, the significance of this, of this bridge, this bridge collapse, you know, and uh, leave the world behind, you know, spelled it out in a lot of ways. They had a lot of the pre-programming in there. Um, and now as for the eclipse, you got three body problem, which I haven't even watched either of these films because I'm just I'm weary of the programming and how how it may uh, actually be responsible for, you know, programming the collective, you know, psyche, if you will. And, you know, me basically not wanting to get grouped into that, you know, that hive mind. So it's like as much as I want to see it to pick it apart, I try to I try to avoid it. I'm kind of like I don't want to say I'm scared of it, man, but. You know what I mean? I'm wary. I'm wary. Um, hey, yo, if I may, y'all talking about the, the Titanic, right? <clears throat> Can we talk about how that was just a plot to get the Federal Reserve into act? Because guess what? J.P. Morgan and all that shit, these people were for the Federal Reserve. And guess who canceled the first ride ticket for their own mm -hmm. ship? Them and, and they, they, they left all them people on their ship to die so they can mm -hmm. take over. And those yeah. people that were on that ship were against. Oh, y'all just gave out VIP passes to their death ship. So about that sacrificing, that that's that might be right. Maybe it might be sacrificing, but that was for the sole intent to get private bank and corporations, the hands of America and possibly other nations in the world. To get control, and do you see how well, many presidents? Uh, also, well, now, now that you mention it, let me let me drop a gem in y'all ear, real quick. I know it's late in the stream, but since you mentioned the Titanic, we can't go to the bottom of the ocean, correct? Right. How the fuck Hell is the Titanic no. at the bottom? Of, so how are people going to the Titanic at the bottom of the ocean? <laughs> you mean where did no, that no. submergible go? Well, they say it's no, they say I, it's at a, at a coral reef. They that's say it's at a coral reef, but I don't believe one, it. I don't that's believe it. That's cap. That's cap. That's cap. If okay, so let's just say it's at a coral. Why you can't go down there and pick it up? 
somewhere at the coast. Well, of why, is why, exactly. Exactly. why is it still there? Exactly. Exactly. So, so if you can go down there and get it, why they haven't went and, and uh, confiscated the uh, Titanic then? I heard they was going to put it off limits because they're going to consider it uh, uh, a grave plot now. No, no, no. Because once they recover, once they recover, they'll find out that it was actually, uh, how do you call it? There was a burn on the side. So there's two pla- there's, there's two boats, right? There's yep. you've got the Olympian that and you've part. got the Titanic. <laughs> right? I'm going into a yeah. whole rabbit hole here. Bear with me. You got the Olympian, you got the Titanic. One yeah. had a burn on the side, right? Because it was defunctious. It had a, a fire before going on. So we were like, yo, we're taking this ch- ship like overseas in a few days. We can't have that. So they switched it, switched the name tag from Titanic to Olympic. So now what they had was a burnt ship. And that's why JP Morgan had to cancel his ship. Yeah, and they and not only did they switch the ship, but they they had lesser uh engineering on that ship, mm-hmm. which made it not seaworthy. Uh which made it not seaworthy, and then they switched those people on that ship. <laughs> There's a whole lot of and they wrote a book about it called The Titan. They wrote a book about it called The Titan. They wrote they actually wrote a book about that shit. Like these people is crazy, man. And there was <laughs> you know, these people is wild. <laughs> and I see a lot of, a lot of people saying in the comments that black people are gods. Man. <laughs> uh we sound we kind of starting to sound like them people. Nah, ho- holy people, holy people are gods. Holy it's people. not just black people. Holy exactly. people. It's people who it's people who seek the face of the most high. Yes, we got okay, a whole that that is, that's got yeah, yes. who seek out people who who separate themselves who exactly. are uh, are right. of a, who are I gotta, I gotta get y'all, get y'all, I gotta really let y'all get y'all final thoughts in. So, uh, Grumpy, go ahead and get your final thoughts in, man. I just want to say, man, Thug, I love you. You know, I appreciate everything you do. I don't pop in all the time, but you know, you bringing out the information. Um, Y'all need to pay attention to this brother. Get the likes up. Get the subscriptions up. And pay attention to what he's doing because he's really doing a lot of good research. Um, grace, mercy, and peace to everybody that's listening. Man, neighborhood grump out. Salute. All right, Penio, you got any final thoughts? Oh, man, I got too many to, that I'll be able to cover. But, I mean, I could just cover a few. Um, so... You know, we don't know whether or not this was a real eclipse. I, I'm I'm leaning towards the you know the hoax um, side, but apparently the last solar eclipse, well, not even apparently the last solar eclipse, full total solar eclipse in 2017 to the one we just saw, whether fake or not, was exactly six years, six months, six weeks, and six days. E-U. Right? Mm. Okay, mm. you can fact check me on all this, y'all. Um, now, if you calculate the number of letters. In the book of Revelation, go figure. 48,240. Drop the zero. 4824. Mm. So, oh, these are numbers you, don't lie. <laughs> yeah, numbers don't lie, exactly. I mean, I got more, you know. You guys, um, you do, this is what I want you to do, Pino. I want you to hit yes, me up sir. on my Instagram. Yes, sir. And then we're going we're gonna to chop it up. So, I'm going to bring you back up here tomorrow. I see like you got some knowledge for me. So what Can't I'm gonna do. do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on Peace. the screen for you. This is my Instagram right here. Let me put see so screenshot that for me. My Instagram and my Facebook is right there. Oh, that's easy. I don't I don't even need to. I can remember that. The Ratchet TV. I got a, I got yep. a good uh good memory. So all right. So that's my Instagram. Hit me up on there, man. We're gonna we're gonna chop it up, and then right. we'll be we'll be back on tomorrow. And I'm gonna bring you up. We're gonna have a whole little conversation about this. All right. Like Salute to you, bro. I appreciate you. I appreciate Salute. you. Salute to you and uh anonymous. You got anything for me? Uh so yeah, with those locusts, let's just see if they stick around for five months because I see that people are starting to relate with the book of Revelation. If they stick around for five months and then just disappear, I guess I guess y'all were right, but we can just watch and pray. That's all we can do right now. And um yeah, y'all be careful about the things out here online. Make sure that you do your own research. I appreciate y'all for getting all this out. Because we've been asleep for far too long. But, like, yeah, y'all try to do your own research and all that and try to get sure and try to get right with Yahusha and Yahweh. That's the most important things that we got to do on this earth. So, God bless y'all. Good night, y'all. Salute, Anonymous. Peace I'll see you tomorrow, brother. Salute. See ya, man. Hey, I'm new here, too, so you just got a new subscriber, man. 
Hey, I appreciate you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. All right. Salute. Scott, what you got for me, Scott? I wanted to touch on them uh, five heifers. I uh, have a buddy of mine lives in Texas, south of Houston. And uh, they raised them in Texas and flew them to Israel. And uh, they have to sacrifice them before they reach a certain age. And out of those five red heifers, only one was perfect. They could only use one of them. So uh, if you'll notice, and, and I know I'm a biblical person, uh, the kingdom of the Lord will never sacrifice a human, but, you know, Satan will. That's what this is all about, man. They try and take us out, man. But that's all I had to say. I enjoyed your show. I loved it. I'm going to subscribe and like to you. I appreciate Peace you so out. much, and thank you for being a new subscriber. Salute. Thank, thank you so you. much. All right. Salute, Scott. See you. All right. Shay, what you got for me? Close it out, Shay. Okay. I just wanted to say big salute to all the gentlemen that was up on the panel. They always dropping gems. I know a little bit about all of that. And again, the, the biggest salute to you, Ratchet, uh, being who you are and creating this content and getting it out there to the masses. So with that, salute. Salute, gang. Y'all say y'all prayers and stay blessed up. Thank you, Shay. I appreciate you so much. You already know. Salute to you. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. And uh, yeah, y'all. I mean, like I said, this is the it's gonna be the only hold on. Somebody's calling in on the late night. Hold on, let me let them get their shit off real quick. T shirt, what's good? What's good? Hey, what's up? What's good? How can I help you? Hey man, how's it going? All right, go ahead. Uh, uh, hey, my name's Adam. I'm up in Canada. Oh, weird. I'm getting some kind of. Okay, I don't know what's going on. All right. Anyway, yeah, we'll just call back in tomorrow, man. It's, it's late in the show anyway. I appreciate uh, you for, for get, trying to get in there, though. I appreciate you. Uh, salute to everybody, man. You know, this, it's getting real late in the stream. We've been here almost four hours, y'all. We've been here over to soft. It's already 12. 12. Uh, let's wait another minute or so <laughs> before we get off this motherfucker. Shit, man. I do appreciate all the new subscribers. I appreciate everybody who tapped into this live. Like I said, my platform is changing. I'm no longer with the BS. I don't be BSing, but you know, I sometimes I, I be BSing around and we have a little too much fun over here, and which we should, and we have our days, but I'm so solely focused on this bigger the bigger picture of what's going on in this world and when i say i'm tired of playing there's no more time to dance around it we got to take it head on we gotta we gotta face this head on so let's go ahead and continue to cover this and and talk about the topics that nobody else wants to talk about but i see people copying people playing copycat it's cool y'all can play copycat but the real information is going to be right here on this platform you know what i'm saying salute to scott he just got off here, y'all. Y'all salute to Scott. He's a new subscriber and he's a new member. So if you want to be a new member, mods, drop that membership link for people so they can get their memberships. Mods, please drop my membership link so we can gain some new members over here. Salute to Scott. Welcome to Ratchet Gang. And salute to everybody else who subscribed to the channel. If anybody else wants to become a member, the mods will drop that membership link. Make sure you get your memberships and get and turn your notification bells on so you can get your notification every time i go live hit that link in the chat that's the link to the membership if you want to get your membership so salute to everybody go green today go green this is the best platform on youtube ratchet tv the hoods journalist this is where it all goes down it trust me and believe me i love each and every one of y'all whether i know you or not I got love for everybody in the room. I wouldn't have this any other way. I love all y'all. And to all of my uh, fellas, big salute to y'all. Good night. Salute to everybody. To all my ladies, you know I love all y'all. You know Big Ratchet love the ladies. And on this way out, we will do it like this. Since, you know, I love the ladies, the ladies love Ratchet. Can I take you home? Big Ratchet is about to exit the building so let me know if i can take you home we out of here gang i love y'all i'll see y'all tomorrow good night well i'll see y'all later today it's already a new day good night y'all i love y'all we out jam the music 
get in the comment section after the video ends. Let me know what you thought about the video. I'm out. I love y'all. Tom, bye. Every rhyme I say My only regret is I made niggas wait She ain't too many like us We like vintage bait And I don't fuck with busters I can't integrate Grew up with these killers in my living space A lot of niggas folded through them village days Citywide gang and junction police raids LA Times rolling 60s made the front page I vowed to never let tradition seal my fate Selling dope with hopes to graduate to real estate I knew I was drumming to a different beat Felt it in my stomach, I was just unique We decided we gon' let these visions speak Then we turned Swanson into Venice Beach That 600 Maybach Platinum dealer plates Wake up in this penthouse to the cityscape You know it's authentic, every shit I say I knew self-destruction ain't the only way Sometimes perfect time, it feel like I'm too late But I know you still great in spite of your mistakes Oh, you run your race, you gotta find a pace Just make sure you cross the line and fuck the time it takes I got out the county jail 2008 a Couple months I dropped the tape, then I was on my way My first single out and set the streets ablaze On location, shot that video in front the cage Trying to find my way through this fucking maze Every concert, 
but the niggas on the stage. We're still active, so it's really just another day. I'm all this paranoid to book you out of fetch your pay. And when you stop eating, that affects your weight. And when you get hungry, that affects your brain. See me, I'm not tripping, I respect the game. I hope y'all do if I can't make it, I'm gonna take a change. See, ain't too many like us, we like finished bait. And I don't fuck with busters, I can't integrate. I know perfect time, it feels like I'm too late. But every single time I drop, they tell me I'm the great. I know perfect time, it feels like I'm too late. And I know I'm still great in spite of my mistakes. You know it's authentic every rhyme I say. My only regret is I made niggas wait. I know perfect time, it feels like I'm too late. And I know I'm still great in spite of my mistakes. You know it's authentic every rhyme I say. My only regret is I made niggas wait. Daddy Houston.
hat trick under my mattress. Did I stop still? Has an asterisk after it? After all, I can make a call. I can baptize a brick as I wash away my sins like a Catholic. Who the fucking master this? America's nightmares in Flint. Children of a lesser God when your melanin's got a tint. And I can't even mention what I sent or what I spent. Cause my name in 18 wheelers is evidence. I put my booze in them cruise collections. Like this likes a bitch. A to Z on her shoe collection. Take your pick. Paid in full like 86 G's on my body. The new Gucci has less monogram. God's got it. Let he without sin cast the first stone. So I built that all glass quad level first tone. Shatter all of your misconceptions. Hold all of the missing weapons. You thought I would miss my blessing. The ultimate misdirection. Yeah, yeah. Your husband was a drug dealer. For 14 years, he sold crack cocaine. Uh. Federico Fellini in the flesh. Sergio Tacchini inside his mesh. Bitch, I've been bracking since the 80s. Google me, baby, you crazy. 89 in London pulling bins up. Type it in, Google's your friend, bruh. 14 year drug dealer and still counting. Who deserves the medal of freedom is my accountant. He been hula hooping through loopholes, working round shit. IRS should have had the townhouse to surround it. Thanks to the lawyers, I marbled the foyer, I tore the floor up, yeah. That's for the koi fish. We've been dining on oysters. I walked through the garage, just like multiple choices. I told him pull a Royce up. I'm getting ghosts. I'm hearing noises, I think it's the boys, but I've been thinking it Deutsch. We got store fronts, we got employee stuff. We've been opening studios and 4040s up. The paper trail is gorgeous. Cases from very some before a reasonable doubt drop. The jury hung. Bling bling. Every time I come around your city, bling bling. My tenure took me through Virginia, ask Teddy Rowley about me, ask the Federalis about me, try to build a cell around me, snatch my nigga Emory up, try to get him to tell about me, he told 12, give me 12, he told him to go to hell about me. Drug dealers anonymous, y'all think Uber's the future, our car's been autonomous, mules move the drums, take them to different spots, we just call the shots by simply moving our thumbs. I'm a cause of miracles with this shit Nothing real can be threatened Nothing unreal exists Fearing lies, the peace of God I always knew I was a prophet But I couldn't find a decent job Life made me ambidextrous Counting with my right Whipping white with my left wrist Damn, Daniel FBI keep bringing them all white vans through Slapping shit. Man, I've been a savage before 21. Riding with a baddie and she 21. I used to ride around with about 21s. Now I see them strippers throw them 21s. Started in the back, now I'm in the front. With this do rag and this beanie like I'm Iverson. Yeah. You niggas play all day. I made a lane, y'all want the drip, and I watched all y'all take. I played the game, I got rich, and I watched all y'all hate. Just apologize ahead of time before I let it fly in y'all face. We'll turn this bitch into Columbine, cause the gang not far away. And we know where y'all stay. So let's keep it gangster, why fight when I could just smoke out where you lay? Hey, she wanna crash at my crib tonight. But she leave lotion and that stupid shit, my bitch gon' find. I hit that bitch with a ratchet gang beanie on. I'm not a sin. I only fed that whole Cinnabon A lot of niggas like to talk But they just in the way But I can't argue with no niggas Who not in the game You know I'm Black Panther, bitch 
When I started rapping, I was slapping shit Man, I've been a savage before 21 Riding with a baddie and she 21 I used to ride around with about 21s Now I see them strippers throw them 21s Started in the back, now I'm in the front With this do-rag and this beanie like I'm Iverson Yeah they used to try to leave me out the flyers for the shows yeah. Now they tryna sign Ratchet Gang to HBO True. Bottles of Patron get delivered to my hoes uh -oh. I put it in the air, you know that weed is my cologne Real. Phoenix never cold, nah. no we not on the beach I'm at a lake house with a hoe hey. And knowing she a thotty, I'ma call up two more hey. And they all going crazy with them pals of green gold hey. And they just had two lines and they just did 15 more hey. And now they in the field and on their knees like Tebow But that's the price of fame yeah. So we both in the field but you don't never play nah. Look I'm a coach you a player, boy, get out the game Ay, You know I'm Black, Black Panther, bitch Ay, When I started rapping, I was slapping shit Man, I have been a savage before 21 Riding with a baddie and she 21 I used to ride around with about 21s Now I see them strippers throw them 21s Started in the back, now I'm in the front With this do-rag and this beanie like I'm Iverson Yeah, the Black Bitch. When I started rapping, I was 